but we do jazz hands, Mike. Come on, let's do jazz hands. We're live. Put on your big girl panties. This is episode sixty-nine of the Who Moves My Friends podcast. Are you serious? Yes, this is this is episode sixty-nine, Mike. And so you know, if we were gonna do sixty-nine, we wanted to do it with friends. So (laughs) we've we've got Mike Fry from Stag Arms on the show with us. We're going to be talking about uh, some new guns from Stag, some old stuff from Stag. Any questions you guys have for Stag Arms? There might be some of you out there surprised to even learn the fact that Stag Arms is still around. (laughs) Yes, they are. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing, Mike. But Stag Arms is here. They're making new guns. They're making cool guns. We're going to talk to them. We're going to talk about news, politics, whatever you guys want to talk to. I want to shout out everyone that's been waiting patiently for us all this time while we're getting our like technical difficulties worked out. I want to encourage everyone watching the podcast right now to click the thumbs up button so that other people out there will know that we're doing this. Make sure you share this with your family and friends. And um, if you're not subscribed to the Hank Strange situation, do it now. Do it now. Make sure you subscribe. It. Do it. And of course, like I said, we've got Mike Fry from Stag Arms. What's up, Mike? What's happening? What's going on? Here I am. Yeah. See, does this coming at you from-, from New Britain, Connecticut? Yeah, there you go. I don't know if this guy looks familiar to you guys, but uh, he, he is an employee of Stag Arms, and uh, we're friends. He's been in a couple of videos with me. I've got some videos coming up. We've got a tent install video that really has nothing to do with guns, but it's coming out. <laughs> oh, that's coming out. Cool. <laughs> yeah, remember Babyface came and found us working on the tent? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that one out already, but I guess not. Uh, no. Cool. All right. It's way back on the list. I'm like backlogged for a couple of months on uh, video, so All it's right. coming out. And of course, we've got Baby Fist P. What's Baby up, Baby Fist P? What's going on? That's such um, a rap name. You know what I mean? That's that's. I think that's really why Hank gave it to me. It, I like it though. back to his roots. Yeah. Did you say it was a rap name or a porno yeah. name? Because no, it could be it could be both. Yeah. The, the latter being a little <laughs> creepy. <laughs> now let's stick with rap. Yeah, that's, that's good. So I there you go. Likes the hippity hop. That's right. That's right. I'm that's not, right. I'm not like, gonna lie to you. I'm I'm a fan too. Yeah, don't talk like you don't like the hippity hop. <laughs> you like the hippity hop too. I was listening to Notorious Thugs while I was getting my dinner before the podcast. Yeah. And you're old school like me. Babyface is old school. <laughs> He's like the mumble rap and all kinds of crazy. Uh, not the mumble <laughs> rap. Uh, <laughs> so. There you go. We will have uh, Walter, I think, will be joining us uh, sometime here. Walter's getting ready for tomorrow. we got like a whole bunch of craziness going on tomorrow, so Walter's getting ready for that. You know what? Let me go through the roll call and shout out folks that are hanging out with us right now. You know what? Jay Fleming was the first one to get into the chat, so shout out to Jay Fleming. Chris B., the Archangel. What's up, Archangel? Joe Carpenter. Real hey, I've, Cujo. I've never done this before. How do I see the chat on here? So in that link I sent you um, to yeah. share to yeah. share with friends on YouTube, click that link, open it up. You're going to ha- probably have to mute it if a video comes on there. We had that issue yesterday. So <laughs> you're, you're, you're going to need to mute that. I just go in and pause the video and check out the, uh, right. the chat. Yeah, so open up that link. And also, by the way, I shared this on uh, Facebook and Twitter and a bunch of my other social media. So, Mike, while we're here chatting away here in the beginning, you should be sharing this on the, all the Stag Arms stuff. So everyone, oh. everyone on, you know, on Stag Arms, Facebook, or whatever you have, know that you're going live. That's all right. Right now. So, yeah, so you got to multitask. Okay. Yeah, multitask. Yeah. And Mike will be showing some new guns and answering questions Ooh. and things like that. Let me keep going down the roll here. Imposter is in the building. Chris Bullis, Mark Wagner. I think I said real Cujo. Hopefully he's still in here. Uh, let me go through. Let's see who else is in here. Um, Lola, of course, is in the chat. Tango Hunter is in the chat. And uh, DC2 Mega Boost in the chat. What's up, DC2 Mega Boost? I'm trying to scroll through. There's like a long conversation, lots of conversation going on here. Vanessa Kitty. What's up, Vanessa Kitty? Drew Braley, E Rock, 
Riviera's clean cut lawn care. <laughs> that's, yes. like the lo- that's the longest name <laughs> that's, I've seen. That's, that's like John. He's sitting on the other side of oh, the Oh, that's John. <laughs> What's up, John? <laughs> that's my boy. Yeah, Kevin John, Greenlee. come here for a sec. Al Chervik is in here. Everyone's in the chat. Babyface P is even in the chat at the same time he's on here. Where's John? We're going to see John. This is episode 69, so we should be celebrating. I want to remind everyone, click the thumbs up. Come on, let's go. Click the thumbs up. Let's get a bunch of people in here. Click the thumbs up. Share the link to this video with your friends and family. Rivera's Clean Cut Lawn Care right here. What's up? Get some advertisement on there, you know? Do you actually do lawn care in Connecticut? It's, 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 I'll, I'll answer for him since he can't hear. He, okay. yeah, he started his own business and then, uh, you know, Stag Arms got a hold of him and, you Okay. Know, so, so does he still cut lawns on the side? Do you still cut lawns on the side? No, he doesn't. No. Oh, okay. No, oh. no, no. Yeah. He does way too good of a job here for us. Yeah, we were going to ask him to give out like a coupon code for anyone in Connecticut that wants to get their grass sir. cut. <laughs> Man. No, that's cool. No. That's so now he's into guns. It's, yeah, yeah, I got him into guns. He actually, this guy actually, funny story. He started here as a security guard, believe it or not. Okay, and, that's cool. Uh, and uh, and here he is. Yeah, now the, he's live. He's the, famous the with star, about two people in the universe. The star golden stag arms employee. So awesome, very <laughs> cool. Yeah, very cool, John. Yeah. Good to have you. Um, does he have a yeah. gun collection yet? Uh, he's working on it. I'm trying to help him. Uh, he does have a pre ban in Connecticut. That's about all you can own as far as AR-15s go, are pre bans. And he did pick terrible. up a pre ban. <laughs> it is correct, but uh, that's what it is, and that's the only way to do it. And John made it happen, so I'm proud of him for that. And uh, so he found one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what kind of lower is it, John? Oh, uh, it's a pre-band I've never heard of. Sendra Corp, I think, or something. Mm-hmm. Usually they're like PWA or something, but wow. yeah, I never heard of it. Sendra Corp with an uh, S. I think I don't know. Oh, okay, <laughs> somebody out there in the chat is bound to have heard of that. Or Babyface, you look that up and let's see. I, I'm That's probably from the '80s. On Gun oh, Broker, those are really expensive. <laughs> uh, tell me about it, man. Oh, oh man. he just got I, only I the receiver. The time. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. The lower and then. Uh, I think he built it up with a stag upper and everything. Ooh, so. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Receiver's like eight hundred dollars or something. Well, this is a- um, yeah. I uh, I got I got my I have one. I got mine through Arms List, I think, and uh, I bought the strip lower, and uh, yeah. I paid six hundred bucks. Wow, and wow. that was a good price. There is no bigger <laughs> there is no bigger crime than making people. I mean, like I, you know, you guys work for Stag Arms. You make guns. Those yeah, go- yeah. guns go out to America. And you can't own the guns that you're making. <laughs> that is uh, thanks for reminding me, Hank. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. It's I have I, no, seriously. I, I have like so, you know, I was a for my own personal collection, I uh I was able to pick pick up a lower before this uh this ban that happened in 2013. Luckily I was employed here, so I had uh and I had a really easy time getting it. Um I wasn't one of the people standing in hundreds of people long lines before it happened and stuff like that. So anyway, I was able to pick one up and uh, I so have that like happened, six that happened numbers. in Connecticut? That actually like happened. What? That actually happened. So in 2013, when this law was going into effect, everyone was just lining up and getting uh, yeah. lowers, right? Well, it's kind of a good story. Yeah, it's actually, it brings me back a little bit. Uh, it was like... I, to the I good started, old days of 2013. Yeah, I mean, hey man, I just graduated college. I'm a newbie over here at Stag Arms. I'm experiencing new things and new cultures. And anyway, so I started here in March and that happened in April. And uh, um, it literally, we came in, I remember coming in to work and uh, it was just like chaos. There was just craziness happening um, at the time. You know, the president had a guy, a lawyer in his office. He's just pacing around. And I didn't know he was a lawyer at the time, but anyway, I found out later mm-hmm. that he was. And uh, everybody was just trying to figure out what was going on because it it, uh, it just snuck up on everyone. I mean, Jeez. for really lack of a better word. It, one day, literally, I went home. They were legal. I came back the next day. 
and everybody said if you want one, now is the time because they will be banned tomorrow. Yeah, and, well, uh, I mean, basically, I would have told them, don't pay me for the next month, <laughs> and yeah. uh, except in lowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of a funny yeah. story. I kick myself all the time because I'm, I, you know, we uh, we had a whole bunch of them here. I got one. I mean. I borrowed money from my dad, but he understood at the time. I uh, I borrowed money from my dad, and he was totally cool with it. But I should have gotten two or three. I really should have. And I I, I was um, happy two or three hundred. Uh, sure, that too. I was happy to get one. I still am happy that I got it. But you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? But yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it was it was crazy. There, it wasn't really. Uh, I mean, everybody knows how gun shops are. They have um, you know uh, cases. Uh, for lack of a better term, glass cases. And uh, this one place I went to here in Newington, just over the line here, um, just the whole shop was just three people deep against this counter, um, just waiting. I mean, there was only so many people that worked at the freaking gun shop. Everybody was just there, just trying to get their stuff. Um, it was, yeah, I mean, I, I spent forever there, and I, I, I mean... I sort of had an in. We sort of knew the guys. You know, I was still a newbie there, but I was with a couple of people that they knew, you mm -hmm. know, that worked at Stag, and they did us some favors and stuff. So, yeah, so yeah, rough times, but, um, you know, we can well, still buy some cool stuff. There's still a lot of cool guns that you can buy in Connecticut, with that said. It's just ARs are, uh, I mean, everybody knows, you know, that's, that's America's gun and they're so easy and fun, you know, to build. They're just, uh, you know, I'm around them every day. I'm a total AR nerd. Yeah. I wish I could build as many as I possibly can. And I guess I have, I wish I could buy a lower every week and build one, but you know, it, 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 it isn't in the cards here and, uh, but we can still buy a lot of really cool guns. Um, yeah. The good thing about you, the thing I like about you, Mike, is that you are, Someone who works for a firearms manufacturer that's actually a gun guy. You like guns. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. Man. I mean, there are there are lots of guys who work at these companies that like guns, but you know, not everyone that, that works for these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um I think a lot of uh I don't really want to say maybe the outside world is kind of a mm -hmm. bad way to put it. But you know, I think I think a lot of non-industry people would um, I think they'd be surprised about you know the amount of people that work at gun companies that um, aren't into it. You know, um, it's just the way it is. And you know, I, I got nothing against those guys. It's not it's not like they're all good. Most I shouldn't say all, but mo most people, almost everybody I talk to, whether they like them or not great people, you know, just kind of like similar to the gun culture. It's just people have different feelings about it and they're allowed to, you know? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking them, but I'm just saying yeah. it's kind of tough to be developing guns and you really, and you don't like guns. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So. It, it, being into it has its benefits. Yes. It, it yes. has, it has benefits where the company could definitely benefit, you know, from, right. from that and that perspective. Um, you know, with that said, it's, it's tough though. Sometimes some, some, some people who are really, really into it, to be honest with you, um, don't necessarily make great employees. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, I'm there, just is, there is that flip side. <laughs> That's that, you know, you got to find that delicate balance really, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, so, so yeah, I, I'm definitely a gun dude. Um, and yeah, I, I work at a gun company and I'm more than happy. I'm, I, uh, I'm a lifer. Yeah. So now Definitely. what do you do for stag? I, I right. You're not, else. you're not the marketing guy at stag, right? Negative. Yes. What do you do for stag? Because I think it's a, it's a very interesting <laughs> job. Uh -huh. Thanks. Um, yeah. yeah. Interesting is, is a good way to put it. Um, so yeah, my official title is compliance officer, compliance manager. Um, so my job, my job is to pretty much make sure the company, um, is doing everything that we're responsible for by being a licensed manufacturer. Um, you know, um, a lot <laughs> you of that. Are, are you the guy that has to speak to the ATF when they can yeah. in the building? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that's me. No longer having issues. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's me. And everything's going going awesome. You know, it's uh, I'm really I'm really happy to see how far the company's come. You know, really. Um, I mean, I I talked to Hank about it for for a while at Shot Show, and I don't you know I don't want to want that to be the centerpiece of this video, but it's mm -hmm. you know it it the bottom line is that's a part of a gun company that is very very important. Yeah. Um, and it's not just us. It's uh, earlier in the year actually. <laughs> Um, I met Wynn uh, at uh, from WMD Guns at an mm -hmm. event, um, a compliance event, and and it's really it was really cool to go to and and see um, how many people you know are thinking about this type of thing every day, and um, you know it's it's uh, it's one of those things where you know somebody's got to do it, and and you know it's it's tough sometimes, and there's there's some pressure definitely, but. Um, you know, I'm, I enjoy what I do, you know, I gotta say. So, so that's kind of the official side. Yeah. Well, okay, here's the that, thing. That's my official job. I do quite a few other things around here also. Yeah. Uh, I mean, here's the thing, you know, especially in light of events um, that, that took place over the last few days in Vegas and things that happen over and over again, people think that firearms have no kind of regulations. There's a shit ton of regulations in the firearms industry you yes. you know it's not as easy as people think for, for someone to just go out there and um and buy guns there's all kinds of things that people have to do manufacturers have to do stores have to do right there's yeah. lots of laws already on the oh books. yeah oh yeah there there are a lot of laws on the books already um you know it's it's uh i mean everybody that doesn't know about guns is gonna have you know, a sort of a misunderstanding about it. I, you know, if, unless they're educated about it. And, um, some people say things that they don't necessarily know everything about. And, you know, that, that is the bottom line. I agree fully. There are a lot of things, regulations, so on and so forth already on the books. Um, you know, dealers, dealers have a lot to deal with too i mean just that coveted 4473 you know that um me as mike fry walking into a gun shop you know wanting to buy a gun you know you got to fill it out and you know for you as as the person who's buying it maybe you've never bought a gun before you think it's sort of you know a long application or whatever and there's there's a lot of things to fill out but you know the dealer there's a lot of responsibility there, you know, not even on the manufacturer level. Um, there's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot going on. Definitely. Yeah. And, um, and, and I want to say this, I mean, in light of, of, of the events that are on, all this stuff is unfolding right now and we're going to, we're going to definitely here, we're going to talk about stag. We're going to go into uh, new guns. The stag arms has, I've got some stag guns to show you guys as well. Look, here's a little taste just to prove it to you. See what? that? It's got, it's got stag <laughs> arms on it, you know? Look, I'm going to muzzle you over the... Over the nice. Duck. Nice. Yeah, nice. so anyway, the thing is, is we're going to definitely talk about that. But one of the things I'd like to say before I forget about this and we get caught up in other stuff, don't think that what happened in Connecticut when everyone was out there trying to get things is the last time we'll see that. You know, I, I'm always telling people that, you know... The gun thing, like any other market, you have to buy low, sell high. You know, if that if you want to sell at all, I'm not saying that you have to sell. I'm not even saying that you have to buy. But I would advise you when things are low, that's a good time to get in there slowly with whatever money that you can afford. Uh, in the last, um, in the last, like what what is it, Mike? In the last year to six months, we've had kind of a low comparatively to the last to the previous years, right? Absolutely. I, yeah, I would say last 12 months. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's people that put out deals recently. Like I saw a deal on a lower that was 1999. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a, wow. for, a, for a stripped lower. So that is the time I would advise people. If you see deals like that, 1999, get yourself one or two, archive it. Same thing with magazines and things like that. You know, put those things aside. It's not to say that you're good, you know, like what happened in Connecticut that all those things got grandfathered in, you might wind up in that situation that if you want to build guns or whatever, you you really need to get it now. Don't wait until it's like, oh, tomorrow we're banning this. And um, the same thing with the uh, um, the 4473. You know, um, I don't know if I hit the right numbers there. I think it's 4473. <laughs> 40, 
Yeah. 4473 is when you do a transfer at a gun store. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, all those things are those things could potentially get really complicated. I mean, right now in the news, Trump, according to the news, this is on guns, the truth about guns, right? Um, breaking President Trump hints at new gun control laws. So, boom, anything could happen at any time. I'm not saying yeah. we're going to get new gun control laws. I'm not saying Trump is going to do that. I hope he doesn't. Lots of people out there voted for Trump. You know, the NRA endorsed him, all that kind of stuff. Um, with the uh, the promise, we can say that he wasn't going to create new gun laws or new restrictions. But who the hell knows what can happen once someone's in the White House and they want to be there again, you know, and then things yeah. like this come up. So always, I say, be prepared. Think about these things. And if you think that's a long form right now, it could get a lot longer. It could get impossible. You know, you could have no access. Yep. So. Well, yeah, I mean, one, one thing I want to add to that, which um, – I mean, it's been brewing for a while, and I'm sure people kind of have an idea, but I mean, specifically um, to the suppressor industry, you know, um, we're, you know, we make AR-15s here, so I really don't have a dog in the fight, um, but just as me, as Mike Fry, um, you know, people, I I've talked to a bunch of guys um, that, 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 that say, well, you know, I don't, I don't want to buy a can because of the wait time or whatever. They give some reason or they hear about um, H, well, it used to be HPA. I think it's in another bill now. That's the like SAFE that. Act? Oh, yeah. Is that right, Babyface? The SAFE Act now? Something about sportsmen's and outdoor. Oh, the Share Act. Share Act. Yeah. Share Act. Right. Yeah. So anyway, but but my point is, you know, I mean, that's the same thing you just said, Hank. You know, don't don't wait for that stuff, you know. Um, I would be honestly, putting in my stuff. I mean, I think also in the news. Now is better than ever, you know. Yeah. Here, here. Wait times are down, you know. Yes. And also, for example, same thing, truth about guns. Speaker Paul Ryan pulls Share Act from consideration. Mm-hmm. Boom. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. not happening anytime. I don't think I don't yeah. think the Share Act was going to um, go all the way through and wind up on the president's desk anytime soon. Yeah. Um, I've been I saying mean, that they've been planning on pushing that off to next year, but you know they can keep pushing that way down the road if they want to, or never do it, leave everything as is, or even make some things worse. You know, not that suppressors would have anything to do with what happened in Vegas. Um, you, you you can't really su yeah. you can't make um, an AR-15, you can't make 223 whisper quiet. No. Nope. Yeah. You know, you pretty much have to put a whole, you know, what, like 20 inches more of suppressor on that thing. So uh, yeah. I don't think that would have made any kind of difference in what was going on, but, you know, they're... Absolutely not. Yeah, they're definitely rolling back those things. And you know what? I ho I'm not trying to stoke the fires of people going out there and buying every gun they can and all that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to do that. Don't believe in that. Um, lots of people going in, coming into this year, going to SHOT Show in January, the beginning of this year. Now SHOT, Shot Show's coming up again in a couple of months. Um, lots of firearms manufacturers had the Hillary plan. They didn't count on Trump winning. They thought there was no way in hell Trump was going to win. In their mm -hmm. minds, they thought Hillary was going to win, and they were just going to sell every gun possible. That didn't happen, obviously, you know. And that's how we wind up in this situation. They just didn't have alternatives, and they weren't um, being creative or, or different or interesting enough. And um, you know, I think that um, it's a bad thing, but it's also a good thing in terms of prices and everything. But I also hope that something like this doesn't come along and then make the price of guns shoot through the roof again. And the next thing you know, we're paying three, $4,000 for an AR-15. Yeah, that, that would be bad. Yeah. So, uh, Babyface, I know you, you, you wanted to add some stuff to that. No, I'm just uh, – start emailing, start calling your, your congressmen and representatives now because it's ridiculous. It's not happening. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a really good point that Babyface is bringing up. Don't let these guys think that we're going to go for that. You know, there really isn't anything that could be done to stop things like this from happening. So if you could wave a wand and make guns magically disappear off the face of this planet, what are you going to do about planes? The guy could have 
rented a plane or bought a plane and crashed one that of the into problems, a crowd. One of the problems I have here is uh, your this isn't Minority Report for anybody that's watched that movie. You're not a criminal until you're a criminal. So, I mean, the guy didn't do anything illegal until he did something horrific, which how would you have caught him if he was just a regular old person? I, I think on the left, some of their answers are going to be, well, get rid of all the guns, collect them, do whatever we can so it's as difficult as possible. But, uh, you know, this is – it's a it's a Second Amendment right. It's built into our Constitution. You can't just go and say, ah, we're going to get rid of everything. You also can't um, take the genie – the genie's already out of the bottle. It's not going to be that easy to put it back. I think it's impossible at this point. No, it's talking about. Yeah, mechanical things, and they can be manufactured in lots of different ways. I truly believe, and I think this is a horrific thought, that if they, if a group truly went after confiscation, registration and confiscation, there would be a civil war. I really think so. People um, are not just going to give up possible. easily. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I think we're, we're teetering on the edge, and some people want us to be there, you know? I, it's, it's horrible, but yeah, there are people... Yeah. I mean, there are there are groups that want that. But but with that on the horizons, none of us are planning on giving up our guns. I'm not trying to get, like I said, I'm not trying to get people all riled up. But no, we're not giving it up. And the thing to do, like you said, babyface, is definitely let um, the politicians out there know that we're not going for that. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's no way in there's no way in hell that Trump's getting reelected if he does anything. If he, I I don't I don't think he should, she should tamp down some of this shit. You know, he shouldn't even let these guys think they could uh, put out these kinds of headlines that he's going to do anything like that. See, so so an, another thing is I think there are places that need fixing. Like our Nick's background check system sucks. Uh, there are – there are, I think there are things that could be fixed in, in getting firearms, but controlling gun control, whatever that might entail, is not the answer. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to come back. We're going to have this conversation. I'll let everyone, I see there's lots of comments. I want to remind everyone watching right now, please click the thumbs up button. Click it. Click the thumbs up. Thumbs up this video. That's how we'll get more people coming in here. We'll make this conversation a lot more livelier. Make sure that you share this with your friends and family. Uh, we appreciate that. You know what? Okay, let's let's talk about some guns. This is the 69th episode. So, you know, um, Guns. Talk about guns. <laughs> How about that? And let's specifically talk about stag guns. Now, this is a. Um, what is this, that? Isn't this the T three? That's what three, I believe. That is the a three T. The three T. Three T T M. There you go. Three T M. Yep. So this is your two two three, kind of like a three gun, right? That's where the three comes from. Um, three actually, gun competition joint. Actually, it does not. Um, no. So, oh, so that uh, shows you what you, I know. If you check out our website and check out the catalog, uh, we kind of pretty much went sequentially through numbers. So we had a Model One, and then we had a Model Two, and then the oh. Model Three was, uh, you know, the most pretty much the best-selling stag gun there was. Um, so we wanted to upgrade it a little bit. Um, so we did a three T. Um, so it was a Model Three. Um, the T. And what did the T stand for? Well, you want to tell you crack. You want to tell you crack at what the T stands for? You, you're asking me if I want to tell you. You know um, what I mean. Testicles. Come on. <laughs> Tactical. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, but it, okay, it's going. You know, for, I couldn't give you a straight answer. So. The, <laughs> All right, go ahead. The, the way the way it kind of works is it it, mm -hmm. it gives you the way I think about it. It gives you a better platform to uh, mount your tools, right? Your your things that you're going to use um, to be tactical. You know, flashlights, whatever. Um, you know, it. it uh, Does it allow any, you? It, was it designed so you can do this? Um, this is Babyface's favorite move right here with the gun. The rope grab. Uh, I like it. it all the way out there, right, Babyface? You love that. <laughs> You love that move. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with it? Ugh, it looks ridiculous. Who cares how it looks? Does it? Do, can you shoot good with it? No, I shoot better with a with a, a well, a four penis coming off the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, yeah. you know. Okay, so I this think actually, I I I remember in the full auto video that we did where I shot the M16 and uh, Walters, and I sucked at it the first time. 
um, I, I used a grip like that, the over-the-top <laughs> sort of rope grip. And I'll be honest, it, it helped me. I didn't get to shoot. I don't shoot a lot of – I don't shoot a lot, period. I wish I shot more. I don't shoot a lot of full auto. So it, it really helped me keep the muzzle down. I'm not, I'm not even just – I'm not even bullshitting you. Yeah, um, we, we could it, train you up. Next time you come, we'll give you more training awesome. on on that. Now, did you – was this the first time you yeah, guys so started like – um, yeah, so this is the 3T. Is this the first time you guys started adding colors? This one's OD green, obviously. I think you had... FD. Oh, the co I, either I'm colorblind or it comes across a little different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, I see the OD green. This is the OD green. That was, that was the, that was the yeah. first... Yeah, that was the first crack at it. We have, we have a couple yeah. other colors. We've done some builder sets. We, we, uh, we did some camo-type Cerakote patterns. Um, right. We did some of the, the battle-worn is kind of popular now too. We've done that a couple of times, some, some limited edition type things um, with a couple different colors. We've yeah. Had, everyone in their mama is doing battle worn now. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, <laughs> I got, what you do you like it. I, I, I think um, it's kind of cool. No, I, I did think it was cool. Then everyone's doing it. <laughs> because like that, hmm, you like know, that. If, it, if it's an accessory <laughs> thing, by the time everyone's doing something, you're like, yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Because everyone's yeah. doing it, you know. It's like pink. Remember when every freaking yeah, AR what they want, Hank? Yeah, every AR was coming out in pink. I mean, I'm not buying oh, really? a pink AR. Because good luck reselling that joint. Ask Lola. Uh, Lola does not. Lola, do you like pink ARs? <laughs> what? No. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> there you All go. Right. Lola, don't All don't. Right. She doesn't like. I mean, I, I've heard that consensus from from quite a few. Uh, uh, females that you know are into guns and they don't like pink either so eh, whatever you know but people like the battle worn they like uh so you know some of the uh some of the other patterns we've done so no i think it's nice i, I you know i think eventually it, it's going to get played out but no battle worn is nice i like to see different colors you know a lot of times if especially if you're in some place like florida just the uh you know black black is beautiful i believe in that yeah. but it heats up yeah. Sitting out in the sun, it gets yeah. you know that doesn't help with the hotness. I got to. Uh, I think I think we got to get you one of these, Hank. What is that? I see uh -oh. the. Let's I lock see. It on you. I see the. Uh, the three hundred eight. This yes. is the new Stag Ten. Stag Ten S, I should say, M Lock. So, oh, you went M Lock. Oh, hold on, let's so, see that. Oh. So this is the. I'm trying to get you in good light here. This is the uh, yeah. Hold it up a little higher. There you go. So so yeah, this was a new handguard that we came out with. So that one that you have on there is Diamond Head, and uh, this is a very open. You can see how uh, well it doesn't come across great, but it's it's very wide open around the barrel. Um, there's a lot of air in there. You okay. got really big. Uh, uh, I guess you could call them vent holes um, in the handguard here. Um, it's, it's really solid. It's light. Um, it's definitely lighter than that one you got there. Yeah. It look even in your, even though I it can't see better. it feels like that. Yeah. It feels like it's lighter. I definitely like M, uh, M lock because this thing key mod is also played out. Yes, it is. I'm getting tired of seeing that. the key mods. I don't I know, would agree what, with that. Are you a fan of key mod baby face? I see you laughing. I have no opinion. <laughs> they both work equally well for me. Mm, so I, I hate, I hate key mod. I hate key mod. I was just messing around with something key mod. That light thing, babyface, that we put on um, oh, it's loose. Came my loose. SBR. Man, that's a, such a pain in the ass to install. So, M you know what else this is? Okay. You ever seen a left-handed AR-10 before? Oh, nice. What? Okay, so you've gone left-hand. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. Left-handed wow. AR-10. Nice. Okay, lots of... I mean, that's 10 yeah, sorry, so, not AR10 stag. 10. No, stag 10. So that's what stag's known for for the left-handed gun. So you guys finally came out with the left hand. It's is that here. out? Is this out? Can people order this? Can they buy this? Yes, they can. Absolutely. Awesome. It is here. Check out the website stagarms.com. So it's on stagarms.com right now. You can go in there and yes, you sir. can order a stag 10 left hand. Yes, sir. That is a big deal. Yes, sir. That is a big deal. So what else has changed in you? You're calling this the Stag 10 S compared to the one. So this one I have is that, just a Stag 10. This is a classic. This is classic. Um, so that so that one is still a Stag 10. 
Okay. I, I believe it, a 16 inch barrel, I think, right? Yeah. So anyway, the S designates a little bit shorter of a hole configuration. So 16 inch barrel uh, compared to 18 inch barrel, 16 inch barrel gives you the S. Um, so that's still, that's still a stag 10 S um, built on the same receiver. Um, it's, it's just got a better handguard pretty much. The, this, this handguard really is, um, it's just, it looks better. It's lighter. It's got these QD mounts. It's M lock. Um, it's really solid. Um, it's really just, it's really just a really, really nice piece. Um, to be honest with you, just, you know, a little bit, I would say a little bit nicer than diamond head. Like you said, you got the M lock. A lot of people are looking for that versus key mod. Um, I mean, other than that, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to uh, what you got there, Hank. Um, comes with okay. a VG, VG6 compensator, gamma, 762. So, so is know, the weight difference just in the handguard? A lot of it, yeah. I mean, it's the same okay. profile barrel. Uh, everything else is, uh, is pretty close. Um, but even, you know, you compare this thing next to, I don't know, a heavier barrel type, a lot, a lot of short barrels. Um, you know, have the heavy profile. If you compare it with a heavy barrel, even a short barrel AR-15, um, compared to this, you know, this is lighter. Um, we actually, I actually brought this out to uh, SWAT Challenge, the Connecticut SWAT Challenge. I want to talk a little bit more about that later, but uh, okay. anyway, absolutely, we brought it out, and uh, the first thing, you know, it's all these SWAT guys um, from the area and various different places of the country that the first thing they, you know, they pick it up. That's the first thing they notice. They say, wow, this is a 308. It is yeah. light. Very okay. light. So, All right. So I, I have to be the judge. What, what does it weigh? Uh, Unloaded. Uh, <laughs> now you're putting me on the spot. Yeah. Um, I, I actually don't know, to be honest with oh, you. Okay. Um, but, but if you, but, but just picking it up and comparing it in your two hands, a very precise scale, um, you know, it's noticeable. Right. It is. It is. It is noticeable. Now, are you guys going to make a bones version of that? We already have one. Okay. The bones version, but okay. you know, it's not going to come with a handguard. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. But actually, it, that that brings that you just reminded me of something. I was watching your show I don't know, last week or something, some or two weeks ago. Somebody commented, "Is when are you going to do a stag nine bones?" And um, we have that too. It's on the website already. The person commented, and I said, it's on the website already. <laughs> okay, so, oh, you can get a Stag 9 bone. So, yes. like, this is a yes. Stag 9. Now, is it a hey. Colt magazine like this? Yes, yes. Hey, it's John, can you get that Stag yeah. 9 from my office, please? Okay, yeah, show us. Uh, is that a Bones that they're getting? Um, uh, yeah, John's my prop man. I've, oh. I'm, I got a bunch of stuff out, but I forgot that one. So anyway, he's going to run okay. and grab it for me. So let's uh, let's hit up some questions here. So any plans on a scale-down AR-10 closer in size to the AR-15? Ooh, yeah. like, uh, like a 16-inch AR-10? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, yeah, how do we scale it down? Maybe, I, think, I don't know, I I don't know what, if you can. I can think of a competitor of mine that did something like that. Okay. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can think of what I'm thinking of, but um, no, not necessarily. But, You'll have to give us um, a hint in the chat if uh, you know how to get to the chat. Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's called <throat> something like the revolt or something like that, uh, oh. revolution or something. Oh, but okay. uh, anyway, um, thank you, thank you very much. Um, so no, that's the short answer there. Um, Oh, I not, see that. I see Fire Mountain Outdoors. <laughs> Fire Mountain Outdoors is in the chat. What's up? Cool. I don't know. Is that Bob? That's probably Bob, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think so, that's Bob. What's up, Bob? So I got. Speaking of nines, okay, I got one here. This is a little. So that's a cult magazine here. Let me lock it on you. Okay, so this is a little uh, short barrel setup that we did. SBR, nice. Okay. Yes, sir. So it's got our Colt magazines. Um, you know, look in the future for a Glock magazine. We know that's what the market really wants. Um, yes, you know that was our next question. Why the hell yes. can't we get a Glock magazine for crying the hell out loud? <laughs> you can, and, and and hopefully soon you you will be able to. But we're going we're going uh, SMG style now, Colt SMG style. 
Tavor type, whatever you want to call it, stick mags, modified Uzi. So, so, so yeah, that that's what we're doing. This is kind of, I think the one you have, Hank, is. Uh, I've got this it one. Is, it's a Colt. Hold on, let me uh, show yeah, you. Yeah, it's so this is a Colt version as well. So oh, it, obviously, it's, you know, full length barrel. It's Use really close. Colt magazine. To there you go. Yep. It's um, really close to. It would this be one it would be here. way sexier if it was a Glock one. You know, there are some benefits to those Colt mags, though. Thank you, babyface. There <laughs> are benefits. <laughs> and my before lover, you say what you're gonna say, every other gun that you would buy in the world, you would probably need to buy its own magazines too. But I know people love Glock magazines, so my anyway. my SBR downstairs is a is a Glock mag lower, yeah. but the the last round hold open on the Colt mag is just so damn easier than. Screwing with the one that I have, I can't. I still can't get that damn thing to work. Great work. point. Great. <laughs> you know point. what, baby face? Baby just face. when we're putting the screws, thank you <laughs> to Mike. You come thank in and you. save him. <laughs> I this whole. I gotta be the good copy. The bolt, the bolt catch yeah. operates just like it does on an AR-15. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just, it, it's a little bit different. Just the bolt catch itself, because the magwell and and it's a nine millimeter and everything else. But as Can far as pretty much, like, the I, bolt have, catch I have, I have ten back, times. I have ten times more Glock magazines than I do these Colt <laughs> magazines, Mike. Can I just tell you that yeah. I've got ten times more? Okay. So, just okay. just FYI there, buddy. Okay. All Go right. ahead. Go okay. ahead. Say what you got to say. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. The bolt touches the back part of the magazine, how it's supposed to be on an AR-15, and it just—I mean, listen, man, they work. You know, at least ours does. Ours is a dedicated lower. That—that that was something you brought up too. So. Uh, as you can see there, trying to get it in the light for you guys. This is this is all aluminum here. We got um, a dedicated 22 lower. No extra holes in the magwell or anything like that. So, um, yeah. you're, did I say 22? I meant yeah, 9 millimeter. Yeah, you meant 9, nine millimeter. millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You knew what um, I meant. Yeah, so. you know. Um, Babyface, people like the fact that you're rocking the Trump rooster. Look at that. Babyface finally <laughs> has a patch on, and Walter's not even – <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Walter's not even here to see it. Uh, you like that? You hey. like that Trump rooster, Mike? You like that? Check that That's out. That's pretty Look. good. Yeah, it's pretty think, good. I think we can get you one of those. Like you know, we can get you a Trump rooster. I need one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have. Uh, I have one of his other. Uh, what? Uh, the gnome. The little no, the gnome yeah. guys. The gnome ones. Yeah, tactical gnome. Yes, yes. yes. We yeah. were uh, a safety harbor and stag were. Almost shot show neighbors. They were just, I don't know, half a block down the way from us. <laughs> so uh, this year, so we hung out a little bit at, at shot. I got me a patch. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's good. So so there's so there's this one. Um, I'm gonna show you though. That's a short barrel. This one. You make a pistol version, I hope. Oh, I do. I do have a. I do actually. I have a pistol. It's just in the other room. I might tell my prop man to go grab it. Um, go get it, John. Did you hear me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> John so, like, so man, go that's, ahead. That, that's, that's my boy right there. John's yeah. awesome. So yeah. anyway, so, so this is the 16 inch, uh, carbine version with a 13 and a half inch, uh, rail that we're doing. Okay. Um, this one, this one is actually from PCF. Um, the rail, it's kind of similar to the diamond head one, but it's more solid. It's in the looks like it's more streamlined it's in the room right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it's really nice. It's really slim. Um, it's really solid does, on here does too. Does that look so. kind of like a war sport or something like that in the cut? Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of it's kind of kind of looks something like that. I guess you could say. Yeah. So you got a good contrast to how it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's really light. It's really slim. I mean, it's good for grabbing. You can, you can do one of these if you want, you know, way up there, <laughs> maybe something like that. So, um, but yeah, but yeah, it's really cool. So, uh, so American gun chick is friends. American gun chick is in the chat. So shout out nice. to American gun chick, uh, American gun chick. Come on, jump on, jump on hey, the show. Lola hey, can send you a link. You, uh, you can come oh, in here. here. There has I'm, been no, there has been no women if, uh, other than Lola, of course. Actually, yeah. on the hangout with us, yeah. and Lola's only come in like for a second or two. What is yeah. this? Whoa! Actually, 
Before, what the heck? Tiny. Before we get into this, yes, American Gun Chick. We saw her at the NRA show. Yes. Uh, we, we got her a pink left-handed uh, Stag Model 3L, so that, See, that was really go. fun. You, I can, got sell, you can sell all your pink guns to American Gun Chick. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. it wasn't just pink, let me tell you. It was... It was oh. it was pretty it was that's, pretty. That's dumb. Lola coming in for her second. There you go. Hey. One hey, Mississippi, two hey. Mississippi. <laughs> hey, Raquel, <laughs> what's up? Uh, American gun chick. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have anything that's uh, pink and with rhinestones in it right now. But, <laughs> you know. Come on the show and we'll make it happen. How about that? So go ahead, Mike. Cool. So here it is. Right you, there, you go. You I like it. Oh wait, so, you, so what is that you have on there? This is a Stag Nine pistol. Okay, same okay. deal we were just talking about. Do you Stag have nine pistol? Is that a Pantheon? Is that a takedown barrel on there, or just a short? No. So th this is a uh, yeah. This is just a short tubular handguard. Um, okay. I, I actually like these things. Um, not I know they're not necessarily like the most aesthetically pleasing thing in the world, but. But they're they're uh, they're really good for pistols, uh, I think, because in my opinion, um, and this is me, sort of the compliance guy. I don't I don't know if a lot of people know that um, putting a foregrip on a pistol requires NFA registration. It does um, yes? Right. So you can do an as, angle. It's it's not correct. Yeah, it gets kind of gray there. But um, wait, did you just say even an angled one? No, you can do an angled, and you can yeah. do a. You can do yeah. a hand stop, but you can't do a, a vertical foregrip. Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, it's not it's not as expensive as, of a tax. I think it's a five dollar AOW tax um, to do that. But don't quote me on that. But, uh, but I, so you know, to be honest with you, I I, I just kind of like this because it, it's it's easy. It's perfect size for your hand, and uh, you know you don't. Nobody's gonna make that mistake without realizing it i guess you could say without really trying to put something on here it's not that huge of a deal but it's just it's just kind of interesting for me uh being an ar nerd and you know being uh yeah, not everyone knows that i mean there are people out there that don't know that but you do have yeah. to be careful putting a um, exactly so so that's that's so so yeah other than that it's a pretty standard tubular type uh type forend but um well I'm sure you'll see some other offerings uh, pretty soon, but this was this was something that we could do, you know, nice and easy, and uh, it works well on a pistol. Um, yeah, um, and they work well on the nines, especially because there's no gas tube here. Right. You know, the, the yeah. nines are blowback, so you don't. Yeah. You know, sometimes you, if you get these things too short, the way the gas tube is shaped, um, if any, but for anybody that doesn't know, it's got a little step in it, standard mil spec ones. Sometimes some of these handguards sort of they don't work in all of them if they get a little too short so oh, uh okay anyway so so this one this this one works well and i i have it outfitted right now with a blade a shockwave blade um how do you like we're, that we're not we're not currently offering them for sale um so i'll give you my personal opinion since we don't offer them at stag uh, i don't <laughs> you I, can I, tell I, this is the compliance guy i don't i don't love them <laughs> oh you don't? I, I don't no i don't love them no oh, they're a little thin. No. I are don't. those I, shoulderable? I, yeah. So that it's another gray area. I'm not going to weigh in totally. I'm sort of under the impression that they're not really, uh, but you know, I'll, I'll leave that up for someone's decision when they're at the range. Um, I I wouldn't if it was me, uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that letter that was put out was specifically for a different one. But uh, I I kind of like them with the uh, with the we kind of call it the microphone thing. Kind of looks like a microphone, um, the foam piece that slips mm -hmm. over the back of the pistol tube. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't mind those because if it's going to be a pistol, you might as well make it a pistol and not make it a wannabe short barrel rifle. And you know, uh, for me, uh, you know, I've completed the NFA process a couple of times here personally. I do it every day at work, and that actually brings up something I want to tell you guys in a second. But okay. uh, but. Uh, Actually, I have two cans transferring, waiting on my paperwork right now. Nice. Um, so you can have suppressors in Connecticut. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, we can. At least you guys have that. <laughs> yes, you can't in Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Uh, right. Can you guys Rhode get? Can New you guys York? have the Maxim Fifty? Um. Oh, that's that. Uh, that's that silencer call one, right? The muzzle. The yeah, the muzzle load. The real question is, do you want a Maxim Fifty? 
Like why? Maybe. Why? <laughs> that's yeah, that's kind of my thing. So anyway, but before I lose oh, my really? train of thought, <laughs> before I lose my train of thought, for me, if you want a short barrel rifle, then freaking do the paperwork and do it right and have an adjustable stock. You know, just get it done, wait your time period, and it'll be up before you know it. That's the way I feel about it. So, but a lot of people like those things, these things. So I'm not taking anything away from you. Yeah. If you like these things, cool. It's just me personally. Um, if I own my personal guns, I probably would keep them with the foam thing or make them a short barrel rifle. So before I forget, I want to tell you guys, we're talking about NFA. So, um, I'm the, I do all the NFA paperwork here too. So, uh, we had a couple orders. I was pretty excited because I submitted some form fives through e-forms yesterday. Uh, I don't know, after lunch. Four or and, five. Okay. Correct. I'll explain what that is in a sec if for anybody who doesn't know. But uh like me. I got I got them back today before Hank, lunch. Hank, you may be surprised, but I actually don't know what a form five is. No, so I don't know form, what it is either. A form five is a tax exempt transfer of an NFA item. So okay. that's it's for pretty much it's for police departments, government entities, things like yeah. that. Yes. So uh it's like a form three. So, Hank, um, you know, under your FFL, if you transferred some cans, whatever, through distribution or something like that, you would do a Form 3. It's very similar to that. Very, very similar. Only uh, it's a Form 5. Instead. And it's almost so, it's instantaneous or very fast nowadays? 24 hours. It came, it, there, yeah, it came back in less than 24 hours. They wow. uh, Supposedly, they were working on getting, well, I guess, Form 5s up and then Form Form twos, I think, were the other ones that they're trying to get done quicker. Though, so I, I did a couple of those. Uh, obviously, well, not obviously. I do this every day. So, but anyway, so me, if I manufacture an NFA item, you have to do a form two within 24 hours. So obviously, that has to get done before form five. So you know, I did a couple of those before these forms that I submitted uh, that I got back today, and uh, they came back. Those came back within a couple of days too. Yeah, I yeah. Think I think I, I submitted them on a Wednesday. They came back on Monday. Something the the like industry that. paperwork, I think they're really working hard to speed that up. Yeah, yeah. Um, another interesting thing for anybody that doesn't know, again, this is you know stuff that you know you sort of learn at compliance conferences and things like that. <laughs> um, NFA branch is no longer a branch. It's actually a division now. It got bigger. Um, they hired a bunch of people. I don't know exactly the details. They hired a lot more people. Um, and now there's two branches within the one NFA division. So um, there's, uh, I believe it's industry program services branch, and there's a government services pr uh, programs branch, something like that. I may not have their names perfect. Um, but uh, they realize the backlog and the problem uh, with NFA paperwork too, you know. Um, and I, I like I like the fact that they're uh, working on that. That was a really cool um, experience for me uh, when I I mentioned I was in Arlington uh, earlier in the year, and um, I actually got to meet and shake hands with um, some of the ATF HQ people from Washington D.C. They came out and visited us, and it, it was really really great. Um, and they explained all this stuff to me. I met uh, his name's Alfonso Hughes. Uh, he's the NFA. Um, director i think i may not have his title totally right but he's the top dog at nfa division and um we you know we got to talk to him and um we had a bunch of uh, round table sessions that were that were really they were really great and all this stuff was sort of explained to us and and uh they really showed us how they're trying to make the industry um you know have a more smooth process yeah more streamlined are they are they gun things. guys yeah um, or are they like are these people that were appointed on the To be Obama honest with you, I, like I don't. To be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, probably, I would imagine if you know there, it's probably like the industry. There's some people that like them, and some people where it's just a job. You know, mm -hmm. I, I really don't know. It's hard. It's hard for me to answer that. You know, we we were we were there in a in a professional professional manner. I had plenty of questions to ask and yeah. And think, so. No, I'm not trying to make the situation worse. I don't want to. I don't <laughs> no, want you to yeah. do or say anything that's going to make you get no, extra I just, visits. I just don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So government. we do have a question from the from the chat. Are you or when are you bringing out a 45 or a 10 mil uh, pistol? Good question. Good question. When? <laughs> Good question. And I'm gonna 
give you the big I don't know on that <laughs> okay. one. You'll probably see a 45 before a 10 millimeter. Yeah. Um, 10 millimeter would be really cool. Oh, I love I'm, 10 millimeter. I, I'm right there with you. <laughs> I, I think it also depends on price point. What are you guys selling the 9 millimeter for? Um, uh, the carbine, just the standard. I'm actually going to go to the website yeah, right now website. because we we're actually doing a lot of promotions and, and things and like that. People, it's really people can buy right from your website, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can order. You can place the order on the website. Um, obviously, I think I can say that in our company here, uh, we won't ship it to your house. Um, right. You can't just. You can put in whatever your home address is. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, can we, we will call you. you. <laughs> yes, we will call you and get an FFL. Um, and but yeah, you can place an order. Uh, that actually brings up something I wanted to bring up. Uh, we currently Stag Arms is running a sale. 20% off uh, retail non-sale rifles. Wow. Um, so people so, just go to the website to get that, or is there a code? Yes, yes, yes. Go to the website, and uh, and they'll get it. I'm actually going to multitask here and uh, ask one that of my would, guys. That would put the carbine at like 800 bucks, seven-something? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm pulling it up right now. So uh, high sevens. Let's see. So yeah, a standard model nine PCF. Yeah. So he's telling me there's no code. Um, you'll you'll uh, I, I'm sure the price will reflect the difference in the cart once you add it there. So yeah, you're looking at for a model nine uh, PCF SL. I mean, that gets you the Magpul, the new Magpul slimline furniture. Um, that the handguard I showed you guys before, and uh, the full model nine. Uh, twenty percent off, nine ninety nine yeah. retail. So, Model nine MOE looks really freaking cool. Yeah, a yeah, dope looking gun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad you like that. Yeah, and it's 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 pretty much. I'm looking at it on the website right now. It's, you know, it, it's it's your standard deal. You know what I mean? It's but but uh, but it, you know, like you said, it, it's really it's really cool. It gives you the uh, the ability to you know put in any drop in rails that you want or anything like that it might not be the most space age thing out there but you know what it's it's a competitive price and the thing's going to mm -hmm. work it's a stag um you're getting you're getting a really solid piece you know something something uh that you could be proud of you know what i mean so uh i'm glad i'm glad you're checking it out there baby face so it's super i like the moe look i i'm not a, i've never been a huge fan of the like the twelve-inch handguards, the big long handguards. That mm -hmm. MOE with the short little handguard in the in the mm -hmm. uh, front I, sight block looks yeah really cool. Have you <laughs> have you seen the SL the SL handguard? No. Check that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't actually used one. I use the SL yeah. stock. I love the yeah. SL stocks. Yeah, I have one of those on my own rifle at home. Oh. Uh, I have Thank one uh, on one of these guns around here. See, the only stock that this I, one. I found that doesn't pull my beard hair out. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, thank you. Like right across my cheek. I have the yeah. same problem. Yeah, okay, Beardy, it's not Beardy just me. guys rejoice. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, you put your cheek down on it, and then when you come up, it like yeah, rips the hair out. It hurts so bad. Yeah, I think you know actually what I think it is. That one fits really, really snug. Yeah, on it doesn't let the hair trickle <laughs> extensions. Yeah, there's there's no play in it, which is the biggest thing that I like about it. I have one yeah. of the SLKs too. Yes, um, the K's which is the oh. short. The little short one on the back, and it doesn't fit quite as tight. Every one I've messed with doesn't fit quite yeah. as tight as the yeah. SL. For so, everyone looking careful. for Walter, he's almost here. Um, let me just say something. I want to say a couple of things real quick before we continue yeah. here. Um, okay. Due to the nature of how um, YouTube is going and all that kind of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. we've got to try to survive in the in the new landscape where YouTube is uh, demonetizing a bunch of our videos and all that. That's why I want to thank everyone that supports us on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange. Or yes, actually Patreon slash Hank Strange for anyone who wants to support us there. But due to the nature of that, we're getting into uh, doing affiliate links for companies that we like, the products that they offer. And we are going to do an affiliate link with uh, Stag Arms, right, Mike? Yes, sir. I'm pretty yes. sure you signed up a couple days ago. Yes, yep, we we're going to be program. doing that. Um, oh, do you already have it in there? Oh, see, Lola, let me tell you something, man. When I, what would you do you without know, her? I, yeah, I have no idea. Not only did I get an African <laughs> princess... 
He would be lost. <laughs> She's also a genius. Because <laughs> yes. she says it's already in there. So we've got in, in the in this video, in the description, and all our videos going forward, you'll see Stag, um, Stag Arms as well as Brownells and Faxon, et cetera. There's affiliate links, but they are affiliate links for Stag Arms. So if you want to go buy some Stag Arms stuff right now, do it. Do and it. Use, our, use our affiliate links, and that's going to help us out and help to uh, fund us continuing making videos. You could, you, I yeah. hate to bogart the mic here, but you could, no, buy, you could buy one of these. This is, this is one of our uh, new offerings. So uh, it's, it's an updated 3G. We call it the 3G Elite, okay? Um, this one has. I feel, I feel so channel. sad now that I have the not the updated ones. <laughs> Check it out, man. Am I making you jealous? I'm yeah. so jealous right oh, now. Man. We'll man. we'll get you some stuff. Don't do you, worry. Do you, yeah, are there upgrade I parts? <laughs> I think you know a guy. Yeah. So I know, yeah. So this is actually an 18 inch barrel. Believe it or not, a lot of a lot of uh, 18 inch barrels use 15 inch uh, handguards. Okay, and they they stop maybe about right here. This one extends all the way out. It's actually a 16 and a half inch. So it's really wow. designed for a longer barrel. Um, but again, this is this is our new SL. And that's a stainless steel barrel. Yeah. Correct. Yep. It's a 410 stainless steel um, fluted. It's fluted. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, yes, is it sir. fluted? Oh. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see if. Oh, I think I've seen barrels like fluted? this before. Yeah. This barrel looks very familiar, Mike. Is that oh, where oh, that might have come from? I don't know, but this, you know, if this is it came from this, the Stag Arms factory. Yeah, if this no, is, I have a, it, I'm I have looking a, at the place it came from. I have a yes. stainless steel barrel that looks very similar to that. That we're not sure where it, yeah, came it from. probably came from Stag Arms, and it's a pretty nice barrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it shoots, I think I know what you're talking about, baby face. <laughs> it, so that that barrel, if it is a Stag, which it most likely is, um, awesome. I have it on. It's an 18 inch. It's I'm pretty sure it's that same barrel. Uh, is it two T three Wild? Five five six. Five, that one's a five five six. The one that yeah. has a two three wild, it shoots half MOA with with yeah. a seventy seven yeah. grain Mark two sixty two. I can get half MOA out of it easy. Wow, it's no impressive. Shit. They are very impressive barrels. Yeah. So uh, these are on sale for ten forty nine. Okay, really? retail Jeez. retail price does not come with the optic, but <laughs> just about to say. Oh, okay, <laughs> you know, that's all right. That's you can get optics through cool. us. Yep. Yep. Um, exactly. Nickel so boron bolt carrier. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Uh, this has upgrades in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's it's not that's no joke right there for that yeah, price. What kind of what kind of stock does it the, have on the back? It's got the 3G comp, stag 3G comp. Oh, stock cool. is uh Magpul. I'll keep bumping into guns. Oh, that is Mag, a nice Magpul. Magpul ACS. Okay. Oh, oh. damn it. That's so, currently 20% off. Um the rifle? Yeah, yeah. Is that it's on the it, Pretty sure I'm multitasking here. I'm getting 10, 1049 retail. So I, I'm not trying to. As long, it as, long like a, as it's not on sale. It sounds if like I'm not, shilling for, for Stag right now really hard, but 20% <laughs> off of that is like a dope-ass deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah, so, I mean, I think. We're not done yet, though. It comes with the ACS, okay? You got this, okay? A little locker thing, so it, so it stays nice and tight. <laughs> Mike the is awesome. Ice, the icing on the cake. <laughs> ready? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Clear, okay. Look at how light this trigger is. Wow. Wait, so what kind of, what trigger is that? What trigger do you have in there? Geisley Super 3 Gun. What? Are you no. shitting me? No. Are you shitting me? Guys, you what? have a, do you have the, the, um, the Geisley Can you see the G? Can you see the Hold on, G? let me lock this. Hold on, let's see. Oh. Can you see the yes, G? Yes, I see it. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. That is ridiculous for yeah. even for like even if there wasn't a discount like that's a ridiculous gun. God, it is. It's gonna be ridiculously nice. It is ridiculously nice. This one's coming down. Uh, <laughs> this one's coming down to Georgia with us next week. By the uh, way, oh yeah, I should say this weekend. Yes, that's. Um, it's you guys should be there on Friday, right? Yeah. So yes. I think um, the. So no, hold on, I'm getting no. It's on sale or yes. It's on sale for ten forty nine. Sorry. Okay. Ten forty nine okay, is, is the price. That's oh, that's, that's a pretty right. Good. That's a really good deal. Not to mention fully transferable stag arms lifetime warranty. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. You know how to sell your guns, don't you? Yeah, that's even better. Do you guys have that in left hand? Do you have Do you have it left hand? Uh yes, we do. I don't have oh, one wow. laying around, but uh, but yes. Cool. Where the hairy hell is Walter? 
I know, right? He <laughs> is gonna is he? I, th I thought I saw him in the chat. Yeah, he chopped in for a second. Yeah, I yeah, thought he was in the chat. Walter's one of those weird lefty commies. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he was born yeah, handicapped. Yeah, he with shoots the right. He shoots lefty, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, he's you know, I mean, he obviously he's had to shoot both ways, so to speak. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he yeah, prefers uh -huh. lefty, I believe. Yeah. Uh huh. But uh, -huh. uh you know, he's a lefty sexual. Cool, cool. <laughs> if, if, you wanna, like if you want to put it that way, no, but that's that's actually that's a pretty good deal, man. Um, that's cool. that's like that's a two hundred dollar nice. trigger alone. Like that's really cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. I know, isn't it? I, I mean, I got plenty of other stuff that's cool back here. <laughs> yeah, we will go through that. We will go through that. Um, you were Let mentioning, me want to see it. right? Absolutely, I'll do that. You were mentioning that we're going to be at the IV eighty eight eighty eight. Yes, YouTubers I, event. I, I am totally looking forward to that. That is going to be awesome. So Stag Arms will be there. Uh, I will be there. Um, uh, a couple of the other guys will be there. Uh, we are gonna bring a couple machine guns. Uh, we're gonna oh, bring the man. new. Nice. We're gonna bring the new uh, 3G Elite. Uh, yeah, see, Babyface, you can't be there. I, huh? I'm jealous, man. I'm so jealous. Jealous. well. No, actually, you can't come because I asked you before, and you said I, no. I got a. We got a birthday party for a friend. Yeah, you can't I'm go. I'm gonna bring this sweet <laughs> suppressed 300 <laughs> blackout <laughs> machine Ooh. gun. Third pin? Oh, I see a third pin in there. Oh, yeah. my goodness. So, is it intricately suppressed it's, or it's suppressed? So, uh, no, no. What, what it's like, it's like, like it's like that one that uh, that you built when I was at your place. So oh, it has I have, the, I'm not going to unthread the whole thing. I have the thread adapter in here right now. It is a Gemtech 1. Oh, cool. So, have you shot it? Yeah. How do you like yeah. the Gemtech? Oh, it's, I like it a lot. This is actually, when I mentioned my paperwork transferring from my own cans, Oh, Got a gem tech one coming. That's, that's nice. Not not to start selling gem tech, but they're really cool. They're modular. They have a QD option if you want it. Yeah, uh, I have guns falling. Um, <laughs> there's thread adapters too. So I keep telling you can Hank, make it a direct thread. It's really cool. It's a really nice piece. I tell Hank all the time, if my guns can't take a tumble and keep working, then I don't want them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I drop my good. shit all the time, and I'm like, if you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, um, people don't believe this, but Babyface is pretty rough and rugged. He was helping me. We've got Mr. Guns and Gear coming to shoot with us tomorrow on the Hacienda. Nice. And, and uh, Babyface was on the Hacienda on Sunday, oh. like, working. My back still hurts. My, yeah. My back oh, is um, still yeah. tired. We're still in pain. You know what's you know what's funny? We had like uh, we had some wood stuck in the steel in some steel stands that we have, some two by fours, and we had to burn them out. Did it, I wish, did it work? I was gonna yes, ask. Yes, yes, I took them. Yes, I took them out of the ashes today. <laughs> and it worked fine. <laughs> yes, there's no. It's all burned out. It's charcoal. I just knocked it. Fell out. Wow. Yeah. So now I've got to wash them out and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to put those up before uh, Mike from Guns and Gear gets there because he's gonna be like. That's Why the hell is Hank morning. burning? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so Hank, we had a we had a big, a big pot like a, a pit of all the the debris and stuff from the range that we we're picking up and, and tossing yeah. in to burn. And we had three stands that have no way of once the once the two by four swells, there's no way of getting it out. There's no like pry point. There's no slits on it. There's no bottom. Uh -huh. You can't knock the thing out. So finally, uh, nine hundred four outdoors. Was like uh, just just throw it in the fire. It'll burn itself. No, wait, out. wait. It wasn't Steve's idea. <laughs> was it, I thought it was Steve. No, my idea. Don't really. Don't give up my genius. Okay, okay. It'll take Steve. Steve. Throw it in the fire. Not that I don't like Steve, but you know. And then like two days from now, just take Thanks, it back out and let it cool down. Yeah. <laughs> like does it work? Cool. Um. So we yeah, have so. we 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 besides okay the rifle. All right, I'm gonna sell you again. Besides the rifle. <laughs> Uppers and rifle kits are also available. So um, we were talking about how people buy uh, lowers before, or well, I bought a lower in Connecticut because that was a part that I needed. I could buy the rest, right? So if anybody out there has a case full of lowers sitting in their closet, Stag Arms 3G Elite rifle kit gives you everything you need but the lower. And uh, you just you can put it together at home. You got the fully assembled upper. Um, save you a couple of bucks too if you don't need it and uh so you know we got you covered on uh, a few different fronts there uppers rifle kits uh parts too um you know so yeah you can buy the handguard separate even so check it out definitely use that sale 
Yeah, so it looks, like, it looks like we have Walter coming in here. We got two Trump, uh, what are the Trump chickens? Trump hey, roosters. Was, oh, roosters. Sorry. Rooster. So hold on, let me uh, let me turn this on here. So I think Walter's getting his audio set up. Okay, so very cool. You let me now. I was going to ask you this question before. Why are why are the um, pistol caliber carbines? Why are they so expensive? You know, why are these like thousand dollar guns? Well, I think, you know. I've seen I mean, I've seen some of them go up to like fifteen hundred dollar guns. What's so the reason? Like I, versus, you know, there's ARs out there that are six, mm -hmm. seven hundred bucks. I'm not, you know, obviously better ARs are a little bit more expensive than so, that. So I mean, it's a little. It, it's um, I would I don't know if complicated is the right word, but it's a little bit of a complicated question just because there's a few things, right? So mm -hmm. ARs specifically, you mentioned ARs. I mean, you know. Uh, Stag's one of them, and you know, take or pick. There's plenty of manufacturers that make five, five, six style, you know, uh, sixteen inch barrel ARs that just work, right? So um, it takes a little bit more work um, to to really make uh, a cal, you know, a pistol caliber carbine work well, you know, and be reliable. If there are different parts involved. Um, there's quite a few extra parts in an LPK, um, for instance, for a Stag nine. Um, you got an extra ejector, uh, typically that's inside of a bolt and a bolt carrier on a 5.56. Um, you got feed extra feed ramps, um, which are usually contained in a in a barrel extension um, on the actual barrel. Um, you got you got some extra things. There's different uh, there's different you know it's a different gun, takes a different magazine. You got to do a couple of things different on the actual uh, physical machining manufacturing side. Um, so. You know, there's a few things there. The, um, you know, the, the bolt, it's not a bolt carrier. It's an actual bolt, um, not a bolt carrier. The whole thing is the bolt. Uh, so that is, uh, it's got a few parts in there. Um, it's it's kind of one of those things. It's, it's, a, it's more of a proprietary gun. It kind of goes along with uh, AR-10s, right? They're not all fully interchangeable like that. Most people kind of go the DPMS route nowadays. But even if, you know, it's hard to really guarantee fitment between different companies uh, where you might want to buy parts and, and build something up. Um, you know, Babyface mentioned Glock lowers being uh, complicated to have a bolt hold back. Um, that definitely takes some engineering. Yeah, that seems um, to be like the, uh, the golden grail, you know, you know, or the holy grail, excuse me, because uh, I, I still have yet to see a company that consistently gets that last round bolt hold open. Well, yeah, you, yeah. You're not, you're not working with a lot of magazine spring tension on the yeah, block mag either. So barely any. Yeah, day. yeah. There you yeah, go. So, so there's there there's a few things that would drive the price up a little bit. You know, I think uh, I'm pretty sure when I so I built my SBR back before they really got super popular before everybody was yep. making them. And there was yep. one company. I had to go through Quarter Circle 10 yep. for yeah. a bunch of my parts because they were the only company making stuff. Well, it's funny you bring that up because I was just about to say supply is another, I mean, basic yeah. economics. You know, that, that's another another factor, you know. it was, But it, it was probably a $2,000 gun for me to build. Sure. Because it was all very specialized at the time. I had to get a barrel. My barrel came from Tross USA, and he only does – you put in an order, he, he has three months or a month that he opens his orders. You put in an order, he makes and fills those orders, and then he opens another order. Yeah. He doesn't get ahead of himself. So it's yeah. one of those, it's, at the time, it was very specialized, and it's just now starting to become mainstream, I think. You're talking about 9 millimeter errors? Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, of, the Glock, of the Glock variety. Yeah, now they're well, everywhere. That's what Hank likes. Okay. And a yeah. lot of other people do, too, but... Yeah, I mean, listen, I know there's lots of places to make the Colt. They make the Colt one. Stag makes the Colt one. That's the one I got right there. Check it out. You know, but I, I prefer modified Uzi. Yeah, you know, now <laughs> modified I Uzi. The, I prefer the Colt mag, actually, because. <laughs> oh, there you go. Walter's jumping I, I'm just, Seriously? I'm just, talk, I'm just talking about names, okay? Oh. I, 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 like ahead, the, I like the Colt style mag because it's a real sub gun mag. It's yeah. not a. It's not a suit Thank up. you. Yeah. Thank you, Walter. Thank, Thank you very much. I get man. another guy on my team. And they're not and they're not hard to get either, by the way. So, <laughs> Walter, they're, this is the uh Walter. Okay, they're not, they're not, they're the not same made, thing. They're not made in Korea yet, but <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, Walter, yeah. this is the uh, this is the 69th episode, and obviously you're ganging up on me with these guys. I was so, so the other thing. I was. I, I've been busting my balls. Is that work? Is that worthy of 69? When yes. You bust your balls. Ball busted. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I've been busting my balls to get ready to come see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a wild day. I'm gonna oh, bring man. things that will bust your balls for real when you set them uh, off. So, oh boy, uh oh, uh oh, Walter. Oh, you know what? Boy. Guess who's not gonna be there, Walter? Um, Babyface won't be there. Obviously, Mike Fry won't be there. But you, you, you could here. take a you could take a red eye, Mike, if you want. Get on plane. <laughs> uh, no, you better have your you better have your flame your your, your flash suppressor uh, oh, volume boy. measurement device with you. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be I, huge. I've, it I've like been taking Trump. early flight on Friday. Okay, <laughs> I, I think I'm good. Yeah. How much, how much powder can you burn a 50 cal in about that far? Oh. <laughs> Mm. Oh, uh, not, not a lot. Much. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing some things. We're gonna be blowing up the social medias tomorrow. So everyone, look literally. Out for that. Yeah. Speaking of which, I want to remind everyone watching us right now: click the thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. We're gonna be talking about. We're gonna go through a whole bunch of stuff here. I, I wanted to ask you that question, Mike, because I see a lot of people complaining about the prices of these things, and I think Babyface made a really good point here that if you try to build your own. There's more options available today, but this is still an expensive uh, route to go. Trying to build your own. Um, it's, it's not yeah. cheap. Uh, Mine, it you know, I, I did some different things. Like uh, the barrel I went for has a machined in three lug adapter. So it's machined onto the barrel. Yeah, I wanted that. Oh, cool. So I, I paid a little extra for that. But yeah. yeah, it wasn't, it's not cheap. It was not cheap. I mean, yeah. and then and then you have the issues of trying to get it to run right. And oh, I, I was gonna say they can be a project. They can, yeah. they can be a project. I, and, well, once you figure it out, they they're awesome. I so I for the longest time tried using one of the JP Silent captured bolt mechanisms. Yeah, those are great. Why? It doesn't work. It didn't oh, work. Yeah. It's a little more quiet than a spring. Never worked for me. I finally threw it out. It's yes. In the Use the kiss principle. You, I did. I went back yeah. to. It's a, a, it's a it's a it's a nine millimeter op, uh, blowback. Gun. Yep. So yeah, thank, I went back thank, to a spring and a nine mil bolt works fine, or nine thank, mil uh, buffer works on. great. Hold on, think, think sub hold gun. On. Yeah, hold <laughs> on, because 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 those those guys are my friends. They make great stuff, and uh, a lot of times there's solutions. If you have a problem with one of their stuff, there is, they, there is a they, they have solutions that that you can w once you tune it up and you figure it out. That thing. So so the problem along with JP parts, they're expensive. The problem yeah. is the spring was too heavy, and I know yeah. that's the problem. Um, now they, I, I don't want to sell another company stuff, but they do make tuning kits. They have yes. they have a couple <laughs> of different springs. So I buy, and it different was, weights for the buffer too. It was like I think it came down to like sixty bucks for a pack of different springs, and I had to mess with it and figure it out. Yeah. Or it was like thirty dollars for a buffer, a nine mil buffer and yeah. a, a spring. I was just like, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I still have it, so at some point we can keep screwing with it. Yeah, let's look. I think JP Enterprises makes awesome stuff. It's oh, yeah. on the it's high end stuff. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. know, like look, it's like what we were it talking is. about with it's the Polymer eighty stuff. pistols. You you build your own Glock, you're gonna be you're gonna be tuning the shit out of that. Don't don't yeah. even don't even talk to yeah, that. Stuff. That's, that's stuff you know, that, also, that's kind of the fun in it. Yeah. The price that's how you learn actually too. It is. Yeah. Um, if anybody can go buy a brand new Glock and go shoot it and be Mr. Tactical. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you can, if you can build yourself a gun and make it work reliably, then you can learn something along the way too. So. I like it. That's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's Great how I learned all my guns. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm not locking it. I'm just saying, be prepared yeah. to do oh, a lot yeah, of learning, yeah. a lot of work, hey, and those, a lot of spending. For those that don't want to screw around and just have a gun that works, it's something like Stag is a good option because it you, mm -hmm. you're going to take it out of the box and it's most likely going to run. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't run, you just call up Stag and say this doesn't run. For me, uh, nobody fully transferable exactly. lifetime warranty. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I can't stag. call anybody. I got to. And you it. put you put attention, Mike Fry. <laughs> right. <laughs> when you when you mail when you mail it in, you put attention, Mike Fry, as per Hank Strange. <laughs> um, Be sure to get your RMA first and write it on the outside of the box. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Co um, Kofi Bates was asking about nine millimeter or forty five ACP ones. That's why we already asked them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're not know. sure. Yeah, people yeah. want to see forty-five ACP. People yes. want to see ten, 10 yeah. millimeter. Can I? Can I? Can I throw something crazy in the ring, Mike? Can I throw a crazy one in the it wouldn't ring? Wouldn't be you if you didn't. So, what about what about a twenty-two TCM? 
Oh gosh! Oh, those are those I'm, neck I'm down. I'm just gonna leave like, it there. Just gonna leave it there. That's what my brother anonymous right I'd, now. Anonymous I'd rather, is like yes. I'd rather have a question token. asked. Seven six two twenty five. Forget about all the. Uh, toker, well, oh, toker would be cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna I'm build one. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so. I'm not knocking. You have a toker <laughs> barrel that fits in an AR. That's no big deal. I can have all oh. the barrels I want. All I got. So all then I you can, can you can make. I can have barrels by the thousands if I want them, Hank. Oh, all I gotta oh. do is order. Excuse me, <laughs> Walter. Walter was doing extra work. He's real frisky today. Okay, Walter. So what's up? Yeah, hit us up with the barrels. No, I know. You know, a talk about barrels. Nothing special. It's not like it's not. It's not. I'm taking my shoes off. That's what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I've been on my feet all day. You. I'm taking my shoes off. <laughs> it's yeah. thanks for having me. Yeah. Um. I don't know if we know it. No, but that's a hell of a cartridge. That's why I dislike it. Well, I know Babyface and I were shooting the 22 TCM, right, Babyface? That's yeah, a hell of a cartridge, too, actually. It is. It's, but it's, it's, it's an oddball, so. Yeah, I mean, so what? I'm, I'm go, assuming Tonker gonna, Rev is more available. You're not going to do your um, Fostec trigger thing on 22 TCM, or you'll have to get a second Morgan. <laughs> uh, probably, probably. Um, Joe Carpenter says, don't say 69. The wife keeps jumping up. Six to nine. What are you doing in front of the team? What are you doing in front of the computer then? Get on it, girl. Six to nine. <laughs> Get on it. Six to nine. God. Uh, Take advantage of that situation. Into, we are children. We are Fuck with it. Okay, I, I am not the one that's I'm not the one demonetizing this this time. Yeah. Six to nine. <laughs> it's, you ain't getting it's, no episode, it's episode sixty nine. Come on now. Uh-huh. We hey, are I'm never gonna, gonna get episode uh, sixty nine ever again. That's true. Okay. I'm bringing this out tomorrow for all the haters. I'm gonna get the hate Ooh. again. So oh, let's show, let's show this here. Let's show. Wait, this did you here. get hate for that? <laughs> yes, Walter. Uh, I, po I posted on one of the Facebook um, AK Builders board. It's it's a it's an inner ordinance. That's why I'm oh, getting the hate. They shit their pants because it, it's oh, an inner ordinance. I mean, the stick brace or stick stick stock. Oh my yeah. god, that kid jumped on me like shit on. You know, so here's the thing. Shit, let's take a little. Let's take a little break here and explain this to people if we can, Walter, really quick. Because I'll probably make a snippet out of this section of video. Um, we put up a video of us shooting a whole bunch. Of myself, Babyface, Walter, we were shooting AK pistols. Yeah. And that was the number one. <laughs> the number one rant. <laughs> Ah! That, the video's on YouTube right now. Number one rant, how could you shoot an IO pistol first, you criminals? <laughs> <laughs> well, you evil, evil people. I, how dare you shoot an IO pistol? There's more hate there than there is for any high point you could ever have. Yeah, first <laughs> of all, I mean, because we had an IO pistol. We didn't mean to shoot it first. We had one there. You know, I just I gave it to Walter. I don't Walter get went it. Through it. Am I, yeah, am I, I missing something? It. What? Okay, what what it is Explain is. Explain this to me. They're typically IO stuff is pretty bad sometimes. A lot of okay. times. So okay. this pistol had some issues too. It had a really funky gas piston attached to a carrier that made in the U.S. that was really poorly assembled. Okay. So go ahead, hold it up, Walter, so we can get a better look at it. Uh huh. Um, it's a poorly made gun. <laughs> Well, yeah, and okay. Interordinance has not a good rep. I added the stock stuff. Don't look at yeah. this. Now, this is, now let's yeah, let's do MCX full disclosure. Stock. In the video we shot it, was, it, it worked fine. There was no problems yes. with the working yes, it of went, it. It went bang video. multiple times, no problem. But when I got home, the more I, I – that carrier gas piston thing had to go. So I replaced the carrier with a Romanian carrier. <laughs> it had to go. Oh, it was oh, – <laughs> if you look at – I put video up. I yeah, showed Walter has video of this. People don't realize it's not. We're not saying IO is the greatest thing oh, since no, sliced no, bread. No. We never said that. The Once whole again, point for, for Walter was rehabbing it. Walter <laughs> is a manufacturer. Like I'm always trying to tell people, Walter can do what a lot of people can't do. He could take, he could take a pig, put uh -oh. lipstick on it, and make it, you know, make it look a cute sexy. Pig. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it look, no. it does look sexy now, and it works. So who gives a crap if it says IO on it? I, I welded on a piece of Picatinny rail in the back so you could add the SIG folding stock. I happen to have one sitting around. How it dare you put a SIG brace on an IO, you bastard? It fits perfect. It's like a <laughs> new it's new not even a SIG brace. Really cool. okay. It's the perfect <laughs> stock. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a SIG brace. A SIG stock. That's a real stock. It's a legit I don't, stock. Yeah, it's a legit <laughs> stock. So how, okay, that's true. How dare okay. you take a stock from SIG and, and put, put it, it on, on an IO? Pig. Yeah, how can you put a SIG on a pig? That's what you should call that gun, the SIG on a pig. <laughs> so anyways, I posted on that board on Facebook, and the hate flowed like – it was like 
Emperor Palpatine going, the hate is strong with you. <laughs> Did you post you know? it to a board somewhere, or was it just your own? Because I no, saw was, the post you made. Yeah, there's a post. There's a AK building um, oh, board. Man, I wish I would have seen that. <laughs> oh, man. They just... They didn't even say anything about mounting the stock or anything. It's just, how could you do that? You just have your license pulled. Blah, 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 blah. Like, <laughs> That's ridiculous. Your license. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You're oh, not going to sell that to people, are you? It's like, I didn't fucking do it to sell people, you dumb ass. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. I just, once again, this is how you learn, right? You, you take something that don't work right, and you make it work right, mm -hmm. and then you know why it doesn't work right. A lot of these people, I hate to say these builders on these AK boards, all they do is take parts kits that are matching and put them on a receiver, and they're, they're just like, they're the king of the world. Oh, whoopee shit. Well, how about you do something, make it different, modify it, shorten it, you know, make a different caliber, then talk to me. You know, I mean, See, that's, I, so I started, uh, I started with, because I was, well, you know, I wanted a original, so I started building. When I built mine, I built a 100% original. Right. It, I've Russian done that AK. Too. It's yeah. a matching Russian AK. And then cool. and my thing was like, I want an original Russian AK. The next one that I build will be something weird. I, I can grab like, you know, a shitty tiny cheap ass parts kit that's like 250 bucks and make something crazy out of it. Oh, you saw that right. kit. You saw that pistol that I built from parts? Yeah. With exactly. a homemade receiver and everything? I kind of want to do 100% like, learning curve on that one. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want to do like the shovel build that that guy did. You ever yeah. saw that? He made a. He, Got an old rusty shovel from a, a farm somewhere and right. bent it into a receiver and made an AK out of it. Oh, well, Whoa. yeah. Or, or I throw I throw you a box of parts from all over the world and you put them all together and make it work. Yeah, exactly. An AK, an AK you can do that with. Like, yep. Hey, let me ask you guys a question here. All this AK talk. <laughs> Believe it or not, one of the things you can buy in Connecticut is a pre band Mac 90, the Norinkos yeah, or, like type, or like a Type 86. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I what, think, do get, uh, what do they get for a. For I, a Pre band Norinco and thousand you know, uh, dollars. I mean, my, my, my gun shop here, Wallingford, Delta Arsenal, selling them probably for like 1300 Hey, hold on. Let's say this again. Uh, maybe we can help you get a those, discount. Do they, they give you a discount in there, Mike? Um, <laughs> eh, you know, they're they my friends. To. They need to. What is it again? Uh, say it. What's the name of the company? Uh, they're a gun shop. And, gun shop. Uh, yep, they're transferring my paperwork. They're my go-to, pretty much. Delta Arsenal. Delta Arsenal. Okay, Delta Arsenal. Delta Arsenal. Um, Make sure you so, give Mike Fry a discount. You got a shout remember, out here. Remember that, Hank? Remember so that? So, you see those in Florida or what? Sorry, Walter. Mac 90s. No, they're. Oh yeah, they're around. They're, they're around. around. They're just well, yeah. well, well. When you see one, you know, let me know. Okay. <laughs> they're all pre yeah. What That's I was going to say to Hank was. Yeah. Um, that that nasty old Bushmaster rifle that I bought from the assault rifle that I bought from that guy. Uh huh. Everybody put hate on me for that. So that's a hundred percent legal in Connecticut. Yep. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of there's a lot of and things. And there's another one that has my name on it. I don't know whether you know we gotta we gotta work that out because uh you know we gotta take a look at the other one. But Walter's going to um Knob Creek, Mike. Ooh. Walter's going to Knob Creek okay. soon. So leave, leave next one. What's that? Um, um, I leave on Wednesday, and it starts for the public on that following Friday. Oh, it's the next weekend. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two machine gun shoots in a row? That'd be yeah. cool. Who's going? <laughs> yeah. Oh, which, um, which, other, which other one are you going to? There's, he's uh, going to the IV. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to the IV 8888, oh, okay, so there, okay. will be, there will be lots of machine guns there. Also, yeah, no, I kind of figured that. I've yeah. never been, but Big Sandy out in Arizona is usually like either before or after Knob Creek. Yeah, cool. that's like that's like coolest. Ten, they shoot, they shoot artillery, they shoot, they shoot drones down out of the sky. There's all kinds of you know night wow. night, night tracer fire because there's nothing to hit in the to twenty yeah, yeah. miles away. So they just cool. shoot everything. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, they have, they have a night shoot at Knob Creek too, right? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I bet that's yeah. sweet. Lots yeah, of diesel yeah. fuel and tannerite and things <laughs> like that. <laughs> Man. What yeah. should the what should the price of a Mac ninety be, Walter? Like uh, well, what price depend. would you buy one at um at Knob Creek if you're you Oh know. oh oh somebody came walking through with a Mac ninety? Mm -hmm. Uh I don't know. I I'm not gonna go crazy because um I don't know, six hundred bucks. Uh, that's what I would say. Yeah. Like, yeah. Six hundred bucks for me. Um yeah. because it is pre ban and and the yeah. Chinese stuff is good. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. if you see one, get one for Mike. 
Yes, please. Get All one right. for Mike. We, we'll yeah, we got to take care of him. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I can. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, he he's he's at Stag Arms. Uh, Mike, show Walter what he missed. I don't know if Walter saw this. The left-handed. Oh, oh. Let me show the left that. hand. I dropped it yeah. a minute ago. Hold on. Yeah, Let's you go. know, Stag. Remember, Walter Stag makes the left-handed for you. Yeah, I know, and I'm a lefty too. Actually, yeah, I know Watch. you were born with that impediment of being left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Check this out, Walter. Look, look. Check that what out. Well, uh, left-handed what? AR. Stag ten. That was oh, stag cool. ten. Cool. Yeah. Three oh eight. Cool. Yes, sir. I don't know. There you know. Is. So you might want to take care of him. I mean, you know, maybe I can request this through <laughs> the uh, the Stag Arms T and E program. Yeah. <laughs> <You> never know. <laughs> For the Hank Strange situation. Yeah, so yeah. there it is. Yeah, we're, yeah, all, I, we're all just giving what, Walter our list for not bringing <laughs> some crazy. What Babyface has a, a oh MP5 on the list. Me too. Yes. I'll ask. I'll ask around for MP5 parts. So we'll see yeah. what we can find. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's another question for you, Mike. Um, people want to know any plans? No. What am I? What do we? To, oh, bolt action rifle. You guys oh. thinking about doing a bolt action? So Ooh. one person was asking about a bolt action AR. Which does anybody even make that? Yes. Ooh, I can think. I can think of somebody. It, I may have made reference to the same company earlier in the podcast, but uh, I could think of somebody off the top of my head. But uh, yes, I don't have a time frame or anything like that. But uh, but yeah. I will just say, don't be surprised if you oh. see that. A, a conventional cool. bolt action or a or a or From a this place. Conventional, probably. I mean, like I said, it's it's hmm. the idea has gotten thrown around and okay. uh, kind of like on the order of the um, the Ruger rifles and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking you'll be doing 6.5 creep more. Oh, if you got it. <laughs> so, yes, probably. We actually already do 6.5 creep more. It's not in a bolt action, and this is actually a nice transition because it's right behind me, and I'm gonna grab it real quick. Okay. Oh, I gotta yeah, take these that. off. It's too far. But uh, hold okay. on. Okay, go ahead. Take them off. We'll to just we'll just talk bad about. Yeah, you. We, can, we, can we can talk shit. Yeah. yeah, we can totally say a lot of bad stuff about Mike right now. Do you oh, have that, Walter? Do you, do you and have some AK really ammo? heavy. AK. Because do I know. have AK ammo? Yeah. Um, a little bit. Okay. I mean, you know, I've I've got. I left yeah. the shop without grabbing some. Yeah. So. Oh no, I should I should have you covered. I, okay. So there, here I we can, go. I can barely fit it in the screen, but. Ooh. There it is. What is Again, this? What this, are you guys calling this, this thing? Stag 10, 6.5 Creedmoor, built on so the same 308 okay, receiver. Yeah, same, I was going to say, yeah. built on three, the, like an AR-10. Yep, yep, oh. yep. So how long is that Stag barrel? 10 receivers. Uh, this barrel is 22-inch. Uh, uh, we offer it in a 22 and a 24. What Ooh. optic is on top of that thing? That looks super cool. Also not included, but this is the <laughs> Vortex Razor HD Gen 2, 4.5 to 27. That is a hell of a gun right there. Yeah. Yes, it is. So what are you selling yes. the 6.5 Creedmoor for? I'm going to default you to the uh, the, the, the website again. Oh, now we got to go but to the website. I'm actually on it. I'm actually on it right now. These are the one. These are the ones that are on sale. People. Tell us, Fry. Tell us, Fry. Percent off. So you're looking at a bones. I'm seeing it on the website here. 24 inch is 13.49. 22 inch is 14.14. 20 percent off that. Those are the bones models. Oh, uh, this great. one uh, I'm holding in my hand is uh, Stag 10s 22 inch 65 Creedmoor retails for 19.59. So you're taking 20 percent off. Um, really, a really competitive price. Um, yeah, because because other down. other um, rifles with that caliber in the market are about somewhere between three and four thousand. Yeah, yeah. six five yeah. three more. Is yeah. So and and I've got to tell you, man. Um, I'm always I'm a big advocate for this. I can't show the one that um, I can't show the one that we have, but because we are, I should mention we're giving away a Stag Arms Bones gun, right? I should say that. Yes, but sir, I don't have it should. here. Uh, WMD Guns has it. They're finishing it up. We we decided we were going to do the camo pattern on there because I thought that the uh, like I just said, I think that the whole uh, distressed look was a you know everyone's doing the distressed look, so I wanted yep. to go with that camo. So you guys will see that see? soon. Oh, oh, okay. You went with the camo. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go with the camo. People like that too, though. People like that. Yeah, too. I think it's nice. You know, I was gonna go with the crazy one that looked like it was in the bottom of the ocean. Then I was like, you know, not every. I really like that. Really oh, like yeah, it. I saw that one. Yeah. yeah. I know Babyface loves uh, it. 
<laughs> Which one was that? Was that the one that? Wait, yeah, wait was it the one I really hated? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't remember. The one that looks like it, it's really well patinaed. It looks like it was left out in the weather, and I really like that. That was my favorite one. But I weather my own guns. <laughs> hey, so I so, want to add. I want to add to this here. You can't really see it from uh, the video chat here, but mm -hmm. but this one specifically is outfitted with an adjustable gas block, which is a first for us. Oh, that's um, what. Yeah, I was going to ask you that we're, before. Hopefully, we're going to be offering these uh, pretty soon. Um, it's not, it, it's kind of, uh, it's something for a shooter, um, I should say a more advanced type shooter. Do you, yeah, do you absolutely you want to put need it on there? Well, that too. You, yeah, but I wasn't even talking about on that. There. Yeah, that's, yeah no. that's an option, yes. You, a adjustable gas block helps that situation. But even being able to tune it up, I, um, I went to the range uh, somewhat recently with this thing and once I got the gas system all tuned up, um, so it wasn't over gassed at all, and the magazine was locking back, and it was feeding rounds and everything, the thing had no recoil, none. Like yeah. it was, it was. I could, I didn't even need a spotter. I could <laughs> see my own shots right through the scope. Oh wow! Since my um, is a cool cartridge. Yeah, 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 it really was. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna transition here to because I wanted to tell you guys a story real quick. Okay, okay. this is this is a pretty good story. I, I told it a little bit. Uh, Told it at the NRA show a little bit, and uh, anyway, there's a range up here, okay? It's called Granby Ball and Gun. Um, we recently tried to support what they're doing up there because um, they were really helpful for us in this project, 6.5 um, Creedmoor Project. So it's pretty much the only range around in uh, New England um, where you got access to 1,000 yards, okay? It goes to 10.15, okay, which for New England is a big deal, so... They just recently opened this place up um, <clears throat> within the last year. Um, I managed to get up there with this rifle. It had a Vortex, uh, uh, I forget, HST, LR, something like that, I think. And it was in MOA. Uh, this one's in mil, uh, mil radian. So um, anyway, it was a little less precise than what you would get in uh, mil adjustments, um, you know, going out that far. But uh, anyway, we had we had help with from the rifle director that was up there. I talked to him and, and uh, we we chatted for a while, and uh, he he told me to get behind the gun, and we could see what it did. And uh, he spotted for me. I'll tell you that was the funnest day shooting I've probably ever had. If you haven't really? shot long range, you definitely need to get oh, yeah. out and do it yeah. because you will be you'll be addicted. Like seriously. It's it very was so relaxing. Fun. Also, I the way the way this day went down, I I had my box of uh, Hornaday six five Creedmoor, okay. Um, I had my ballistics calculator, which I had no clue what I was doing, but uh, <laughs> I, I had help. I had help, and uh, we we we. How input far were you shooting? Numbers. I'll get to that. So okay. we input we input all the numbers into the ballistics calc, right? So. Because this place, you know, they take it serious. They don't they don't let you just get up there if you don't know what you're doing. You know, you got to do a long-range orientation and stuff. And that was pretty much what I did with the rifle director that day. Um, I, you know, I had a little bit more experience than probably a lot of the guys he was dealing with. But but anyway, so he was helping me with the ballistics calc, and um, uh, we got all the numbers in, so I get behind the gun. Um, I think we started at maybe – 375, 450 or something, pretty much nothing for a 6.5. Um, and uh, I, I hit right away. Um, we, I dialed up, dialed up the holdovers, and I, I hit the first round. I moved out to 600. Um, same deal. I mean, we plugged the numbers into the ballistics calc, dialed the holdover, um, pulled the trigger. He was spotting for me, and I hear, Impact! behind me and I, I i was like this is freaking cool and that was two rounds and the second one hit at 600 yards um the next one we went out he said all right well go out to 800 and uh we got out to 800 dialed the come-ups and guess what pulled the trigger impact and uh at this point you know he's kind of back there he does this all the time you know i'm not trying to you know, pat myself on the back here too much, but uh, he pretty much turned to one of the other guys here and was just like, this never happens. <laughs> Nobody gets on at 800 yards in three shots and doesn't miss. I'm not, I'm not saying it was all me. A lot of it was the gun, really. And, well, I mean, even the scope that we had was a $900 scope. 
you know, helps. it wasn't anything to it was, but for long range guys, that's bottom. Oh, of that's low end. Yeah, that's not well, high end for them. So, so we get out further. Same deal. He said, take it to nine fifty. Plug the numbers into the calc. Did the come up? Bang! Pull the trigger. Whack the steel at nine hundred and fifty yards on the third that's, shot, that's fourth cool. shot, and uh, moved out to moved out to a thousand yards. Same deal, man. It was it was so fun. Pull the trigger and he, and he, I hear impact behind me uh, from the spotter, and it was it was uh, it was a feeling like I, I've never felt before. Hitting a piece of steel at one thousand fifteen yards and doing it in uh, in five or six shots, like I did. I think I missed one right before, just off to the right because of some wind. Um, but it was. It was a really, really fun day. If you if you've never gotten, because I never thought I'd be into long range. Never. I was like, I'm no. There, I live in Connecticut. There's no possible way. There's a, a long range I could get into that or anything. Um, first of all, I don't have the money to, but I still want to get into it. It's so expensive, um, but it is so fun. It is ridiculous amounts of fun. And yeah. there are guys that take it to the next level with reloading and everything else. It is an incredible time. So this is a really good way for people, uh, uh, people like us, you know, that uh, want to maybe get into it without, you know, doing the freaking $8,000 GA precision build or, you know, whatever, just Man. for the rifle, pick your company. Um, th this is a really, this is a really good option. I got on in five shots in a thousand yards, walked it out with the, I guess I didn't walk it out um you know use the ballistics calc and it was the funnest day i've had I, I was i was i was high off of that feeling for literally the next three four days and that was all i wanted to do was go back <laughs> to the range and shoot sniper fry it was fun man i'll tell you it was so fun yep. yeah i think that's cool man and if you, you know if you get something like uh the acss or something you don't even have to do all those crazy ballistic calculations sure yeah, you know? yeah, those things make it easy. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, that yeah, man, I think it is fun to shoot long distance. I've done it before. Every time I do it, I enjoy it. It's not easy. We don't all have access to that kind of range. No, yeah, yeah, really. And uh it it's tough. I wouldn't have if I didn't if I didn't find out about uh the range up near us in Mass here, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was really incredible. Yeah, absolutely. So I need no, to get my cool. own bolt gun now. So that's yes. sort of <laughs> the next thing on the list. Yeah. I can do a bolt gun in Connecticut. Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah. So, and then that's that's another reason why Stag needs to make a bolt gun. Why not? You can yeah. use that same rifle you got there. Just take the gas system off. Yeah, it's tough, though. They, um... <laughs> he can't. He can't own it. No, he can't own it, Walter. They, you missed that part. They're no, manufacturing. Well, it's Walter saying make it a make it a make it a single make it a single shot. Oh, make it oh, a single or, gas, or use it or, or, or as a side charger. You know. Yeah, yeah. They they. Um, but you got that evil receiver there that might you might put more than yeah. You might put more than ten rounds in it. You know? Yeah, it probably yeah. has to be originally manufactured as a bolt action, right? Pretty much. Pretty okay. much. Yeah. yeah. They. They. They know. <laughs> Unfortunately, they know about that trick, Walter. <laughs> so, but incredible time, seriously. Um, and this, 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 this stag rifle is a great way to do it um, without totally killing your bank account. Yeah. yeah. Ken Helmer says, get a Henry Long Ranger in 308. Ooh, I don't so know. 6.5 Creedmoor? 6.5 Creedmoor is a really cool round. Yeah, yeah, I think um, yeah. Best people in the 308, and it's like a laser beam out to. Yeah, the it really yeah, dominates you, it. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Um, we were what was the one we we were we have a TC Arms compass. I want to say yeah, compass. So TC Arms makes the compass. You can get it in 308. You can get it in 65 Creedmoor. By the way, it's about what was it, Babyface? Like 500 bucks? Something like I think, that. I think it was 400. It wasn't even. It's not even that expensive, but really nice. Uh, I've shot the 65 Creedmoor version. I want to do. Um, I want to step up from the 308 because I I, I feel like the 65 Creedmoor is so, sort of a step down from 308 because it's a little bit lighter kick. I want to step up and build uh, a Remington 700 in 300 Win Mag. Hmm. Oh, that's another one. That's a it's a heavier bullet, but it's still it's a laser beam out to like three or four hundred yards. Old school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what does that what does that round cost? Oh, dollar fifty a round. I'd I'd have to reload it myself. Yeah, you'd be I a reloading. Food. Yeah. I want, What's a dollar fifty? 
<laughs> What's a dollar? What's a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> Compared to fifty <laughs> BMG. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's Walter's point of perspective. But then again, you go you go three thirty at Lapool and you get factory ammo, you're like five, six bucks a round. So yeah. yeah. Um so here we go. Al Chervik says he has one. A compass is under two hundred bucks right now. He he paid one ninety seven to be exact and he has the three oh eight. Boom. <laughs> wow, that's that a nice good the compass, compass is not yeah, that is I, I buy two. <laughs> that's a crazy price. Yeah. Side by side. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, 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 look at this. I get fed. Dinner, dinner time. Walter's, Walter's getting food and everything delivered. Uh, you're so wow. lucky. Pops, it's machine. Yeah. Bolt action. They, yeah. I didn't realize they were that cheap. It's awesome. We've shot it. We've got a video of shooting it. It's a nice gun. So. Is that the one that you can change out to different calibers? I was going to say, I thought you no, had you one can't, of those. You can't change different calibers on that one. No, yeah. that's the... Yeah, you're talking about the Encore, which we have some, we have some videos coming up of the Encore, but the oh. Compass is the bolt action. It's like in the category of Remington. Thompson Center. Center. Thompson Center. Yeah, yeah. it's from Thompson Center. Um, good gun. Good gun. Lots of – uh, Yeah, no, I think uh, I remember shooting that. It, it shot well for the price. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we have the 308 version, but you can do 308. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of different calibers. I know the 65 Creedmoor. I shot that at SHOT Show. So there you go. That's a, to me, that's a good like entry level hunting gun. Yeah. But when you're talking long range, like thousand yard long range gun, yeah, I yeah, I don't see a problem with spending good money on a, a yeah. quality half gun. minute of angle right out of the box. Yeah, the barrel, the barrel's threaded on it. Al Chervik is uh, saying to remind you guys. Thank you. Know, <laughs> there you go. I think, they, I think they have a three. Someone go look. Let me let me look that up because I think they have a three hundred Win Mag. But speaking of hey, six hey. five Creedmoor, yesterday oh. on the on the firearms blog or the other day they had oh. another caliber that say that might be a competitor to six five. Um, I what forget what it? it was. It was on the firearms. <laughs> uh, there's this whole article. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? So let's do. Let's go to some news things real quick. There was a couple of news things we were talking about on the top of this. We're, we are going to talk a little bit about this whole thing in so, Vegas. Go so ahead. I'm going to demonetize you here, uh, oh, and I'm sure you guys said this yesterday, but fuck Hillary Clinton. For, <laughs> for, for, for coming out straight away and saying, "Oh, suppressors! Imagine if you have suppressor." Like fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> um, I no, you couldn't pay me to. And they say I wouldn't do it with your dick. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Okay, that we took care of it then. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there you go. Okay, you guys are gonna all have to go buy a Hank Strange T-shirts. <laughs> I already not did. That, not that anyone's gonna more. Now you're gonna have to buy more. more. Okay. Since okay. you're gonna get the video demonetized, thank you very much. Well, I don't know. Wait, <laughs> is this a real thing? The spikes tactical lower, the unicorn lower. Yes, that is a real, is. Thing. Yes. a real thing. Uh, yes, that is a real I thing. Go buy one of those right now if I can find it. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I don't know if there's oh, any. So here's a good question for for Stag Arms. Do you guys plan on making any weird lowers like that? <laughs> like like what, random uh, designs. Like a Hank Strange lower for. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, what you? So you said it was a Spikes Tactical. It's one? a they, yeah. it's the Spikes Tactical Snowflake, and it has a uh, unicorn on the front as the the logo. Oh my gosh. And it, the, it's a safe fire in full is uh, safe space triggered in full libtard. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Let me see. Uh, let me let me look at this. Thing. <laughs> uh, Spike is cute. always hitting them upside. I know they always do random stuff like that. One forty. What? I'm, pull, I'm pulling it up here. I want one, but for one forty, ugh. How dare years. somebody ask one hundred and forty dollars for an AR fifteen lower receiver? That's, yeah, I mean, the forty dollar Anderson or the special lowers or whatever. Well, you oh, can buy a lower things. for twenty bucks, but you're not going to get it engraved like that, my Hell friend. No. And this is the color version. Oh, and this too. one. Okay, so this one comes with the finger groove machined into it. Yeah, uh, you don't have to put a. Um, they even color it. I know it looks That's super cool. cool. That's pretty oh, Hank, funny. Hank, That's a pretty way, good um, idea. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I, I can't say there are plans, but who knows? You know, you, got, you guys, you talk to you guys, guys like, dude. We gotta do. You this. guys are turning my wheels <laughs> in my brain. Because <laughs> they do the other one they did was the honey badger lower, yeah. uh, which is the honey badger, and it's that's my SBR. And they did the, the one with scripture on it too. They did a scripture one, uh, the uh, commander uh, crusader. Uh, they have the zombie and the pirate, and yeah, you guys should you guys should look into making some stuff like that. There, I always think oh. to me those are more collectibles Pretty than anything. Like, I'll shoot them, but I think they're just neat to have. Snowflake. I like, I like. <laughs> what does it say? Safe space. Safe triggered and full triggered. lip tard. 
Full lip card, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's like internet slang lingo. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, those those are cool. You got you got my wheels turning. Oh off, shit, so. it's one fifteen. I'm gonna throw one there. Right yeah, now. yeah, those are one fifteen. Yeah. Say so, you no, know, Hank. I'm coming don't up to your morning. place tomorrow, and you know I'm gonna miss my rattler arriving because of you. I won't have that moment. Everybody, <laughs> everybody else will get that moment, and I'll be the last one on the scene. Uh, you got one coming? Baby. You poor snowflake, baby. Is it, is it a Pulse dealer sample? No. Uh, oh, no. No, he's got a rattler. No, actually, I, I am. The, I wish you should have put the express shipping on it, Walter. Well, I didn't know about this event. <laughs> <Got me. laughs> hey, let me ask you a question about that. It's got a five and a half inch barrel, right? Correct. Is that. Uh, that's that's sufficient to uh, stabilize a five five six. They or say it, is it they five say five six or is it three hundred blackout? Three hundred blackout. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. They yeah, say that's it's a um, different story then. I guess they're working toward the uh, SOCOM requirement, and it's got to have a relative accuracy at the two hundred yards. So, yeah, I don't know how to do it. We'll find out. But. Yeah, test it out. Yeah. So just um, bear in mind, everyone. Uh, we are we are going to be uh, we are going to hit some stuff here with the uh, with the thing that happened in Las Vegas in a minute. But we're just going to go through some other news. Um, yeah. So lots of people are out there trying to get your guns now. Oh, you know, Patrick. my son my, my son was bringing up. I guess they're pushing this point, like you know, having too many guns make you. Yeah, I'm a dangerous. evil person. You should see my you should see my safe. How evil. Yeah, I am. but so does it make you dangerous if you have too many cars or too many? They've boats, already yes, they've already planes. tried that, Hank. Yes, that 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 you routine's know. already been pushed before. So you're you're a polluter. You're a you're a, you're you're an earth hater. That's right. You have too many. Yeah, cars. they say you're a polluter, but they don't try to come take your cars from you. You know. Well, they want the taxes. That's why they don't take your yeah. car from you. Well, hey, we pay taxes too, man. Every time hey. we have to do background checks and all that bullshit, that's extra taxes. Well, <laughs> yeah, like I said, man, twenty room mansion with all the lights on, and all the water going. If you can pay for even it, even having to do a freaking background check and all that is unconstitutional. Okay. Uh, can, can I? Hey, can I demonetize so, this one more time? Sure. Uh, go ahead. Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, uh, bear in mind that some people from Stag are probably watching. Oh this. shoot! Sorry, this is a Stag. Oh, I, I, <laughs> no, that's uh, okay. Just say, go ahead, go I ahead, do say, it. It's too late. F fuck Jimmy Kimmel as well. That guy's <laughs> rant last night was ridiculous. Oh. Absolutely terrible. He lost. I lost him. He he lost a long time ago. Oh, he lost. I don't even ago. watch Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I gave, I I gave it a chair. I, I watch Adam Carolla. You know? Yes, Adam Carolla. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty Jimmy good. Kimmel. Yeah, yeah. I, I could give two shits about Jimmy Kimmel. Um, I'll yeah. rather listen to Adam Carolla. Than I don't Jimmy know about Kimmel. you guys, but I stay at my job until nine thirty at night. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah, we don't well, start till gonna, noon. Not, not every night. Yeah, yeah, I wish, right? So a couple of things. So Walter Trump yes, is hinting at gun control. What do you think about that, Walter? He's not going to do that. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Are you making us promises? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Are you making us let promises? Me, let me say one. Let me say two words. Midterms. Midterms. Congressional yeah. midterms. Well, I'll tell you right now, these guys better not start um, trying to push stuff on no, us, man, because, no. you know, I'm not moving an inch from the Let me say another word, or three letters, NRA. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll say two yeah. words, from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> well, airstrike, I mean, you're done. Look at, look at, <laughs> this Connecticut, I mean, you guys got so screwed by... I mean, what even caused that? Was that the Sandy Hook thing that, that caused it to cause people to freak out? Probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was people. I mean, Listen, here, here's what I think we should do. Seriously. I'm serious about yeah. this. I'm not kidding. I think we should take all of California Cut them and off. let That's all these idiot. snowflakes go to California, make a separate country, call it La La Land or whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> and go live there and ban guns and make all the gun-free zones you want and go there and know, bang each other's ass. Car has them. to be powered <laughs> off of, um, <laughs> of baby unicorn farts or whatever the hell you want. Bang to each do. other's ass. That's what <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well done. It is well, you can see monetized <laughs> already. So yeah, yeah. Sure, the second time. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully the people from Stag don't look this far into this the video. Really Stag <laughs> yeah, hopefully, you know. Yeah, they'll just watch the beginning and see like the uh, yeah, Where's Bob? Like, oh, is Bob is still watching this? this? <laughs> How do you spell jambalaya? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Bob is still out there. I, I hope not. I hope hey, Bob. Bob. Like, oh, I think I'm, 
Yeah. I, I don't know if Bob is still out there watching it, but here's the thing, you know, I think we should just, they should just separate. Go make a, another country, man. Let everybody into your wow. country. Just say, hey, we don't care where you come from. We, you know, you could just walk in, no background checks, no nothing. You, anyone could vote. You could vote as many times as you want. Yeah. Just do all, the, they just make a separate country for their asses no. that they can do whatever the hell no. they want to do in. How about no. that? Yeah, it won't work. You know, five minutes they'll be let's out of money. Give them so. California. Do they can do whatever they want to do. They can merge with Mexico. Do whatever the hell they want to do, man, and just rock on. Somebody let's see how long that eating. experiment lasts. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's going to last that long. Um, here's another person. Uh, Paul Ryan pulls the Share Act from consideration. Okay, they're all Paul terrified right now. They're terrified. Yeah. Paul Ryan has to go. I'm personally yeah, saying a, right now. You know what we should do? He's, he's he's it's proof that they're more interested in retaining their positions than they are in doing what we want them to do. What's new? Yeah. Well, yeah. So here's what I think we should do, man. Um, we should campaign. Puerto Rico. That's a good. <laughs> no, here's what I think we should do. We should campaign against all these guys. We should campaign against all these I, people. I already, uh, Ted Yoho, I, as we were sitting here talking about it, I actually sent him an email. So that's my representative uh, for the Gainesville area. Um, I know Ted Yoho. You really? Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, I've already sent him my email, so. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone knows this, but Big Daddy Guns, these guys right here. Actually, where I am, well, no, I shouldn't nice tell, people. Big Daddy. I shouldn't tell people where I'm at, but this but this is actually uh, um, headquarters of the Republican Party in Gainesville. Yeah, so I guess I guess Ted Yoho probably comes through there, doesn't he? Yeah, he's come yeah. through here a few times, and you know, he, he's not a bad guy. We do have to let those guys know what we think about this. I, I said they can't I do it alone. When I sent him, it was very, very cordial. Um, I mean, yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna. I think we should campaign against any of these guys. So, like Paul Ryan, we should campaign against him. I'll uh, tell yeah, you right Paul now. Ryan, if I had if, high hopes for Paul Ryan, I really did when they when they he got uh, put in. But yeah, me too. But that's much? over. That's over. That was actually over a long time ago. Yeah, and uh, is he, he from Florida or what? Uh, no, no, he's uh, no. From, he was Wisconsin or something like that. Yeah, I think Baltimore? he's Wisconsin. Yeah, he's Wisconsin. So he's drinking know, the Kool Aid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm down to start taking on all these people. Use our platform. You know, guys that are doing crap like this. To be honest with you, Trump, man, screw that. You know, and hopefully this is where this is where like I think, you know, Mac was here. Military Arms Channel was here. We did a video. He said to give the, you know, give the NRA a couple of years, see what happens. I'm telling you right here is where we see if the money and the support and everything we've been giving to the NRA is worth it. Because yeah. if they let if Trump goes that direction and they let that happen and they don't come down on him, then I'm done. I'm with done what? with their asses. You know, I'm done with the NRA bullshit. You know, I mean, th there should be no hints of this at all, man. No hints of this coming from the White House or from any Republican conservative person that's been elected. You heard what the Kentucky, Kentucky governor said, didn't you? What did he say? He decided basically, you know, it ain't the gun's fault. No, it isn't. It is exactly and, right. And that's what they need to say. I'm not really sure why Trump is hinting at stuff or whatever, you know. He's um, placating. He's He's playing he's playing both sides. Okay, I'll tell you something right now. I'm not that guy that goes like a lamb to the slaughter and all the way up till the end I'm believing. No. Master but, will kill me. <laughs> Bullshit. What? I totally believe Master will kill me. I'm not going for that nonsense, man. This is why I believe in this is why I believe in guns. I'm gonna tell you that you guys that right now. So there's no way in hell I'm going for any of this crap from anyone. There's no backpedaling, no black backsliding. If anything, they've got to get rid of the crap laws that we already have that are restricting our access to guns. States like Connecticut should not be able to do what they're doing to people like Mike Fry. And put on their license plate the Constitution state. Isn't that, yeah. isn't that, Sorry. Isn't that crazy? It's yeah. bullshit. It's bullshit. That's what I'm, they need to. They, got nothing, they have no idea what the Constitution's about anymore. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, there's no way in hell I'm not going for it. Not going to happen. Not supporting it. Yeah. Not gonna do it. How about not gonna do it? Up. Not one little bit. You know. Um, so I hope these guys. I hope they really realize that that you know we're really not Walter's gonna go for this. Wheels turning over there. Yeah. yeah. Take you, the uh, the FN magazine. <laughs> attach it to an AK. That'd be a hell of a gun. I tell you. You have a? Do you have a PS ninety there or something? What do you? I have to? one of those AR fifty sevens. Oh, oh nice. Show us. 
It's someplace, so I don't got to find oh, it. Oh, okay. It's not oh. sitting in front of you. It's so not you're easy just there. <laughs> yeah, you're just there playing with the magazine. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I need to turn that thing full auto. It's, it's episode quite... sixty nine, and Walter's just sitting there playing with his magazine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> oh, oh, <God>. boy. Mike <laughs> is like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a nice meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> Mike is gonna go into the meeting tomorrow in the conference room. They're gonna have a projector. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna oh, have boy. YouTube pulled up. <laughs> you know, they're gonna have some security guards there. <laughs> there there's Mike with his new haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, you know what, Mike? Man. Let's make up for it. Let's show some more stat. What else you got there? What else you got there? Uh, got oh, all right. Hold on. Well, I've been holding this one. Are you oh, guys? This this isn't exactly for sale or Ooh, anything. I like that, that but. This is a little config that I put together. This is uh, this is one we're gonna bring down. I'm pretty excited about it. To the range day in Georgia. So let me just give you a quick rundown here. It's pretty much an M16, okay? As I almost knock over more guns. Um, and it's pretty much upgraded with Magpul furniture. You got your Magpul fit, fixed rifle stock, okay? Standard A2 tube, MOE grip, um, 20 inch barrel. Okay, standard length, rifle length. I have a uh, Lantac comp on here, uh, which are pretty awesome. They're nice, pretty, pretty effective. And can you see how it's lasered? Mm, yes, it's private labeled. So yeah, we, got, we got that fancy thing. This is actually a stainless barrel. Okay, um, stainless with our uh, S7 coating. Okay, and uh, last but not well, I guess. Not last, but uh, it's got one of our DLC bolt carriers in it too. That's a cool thing that we're doing that I don't know if uh, the what's world the really knows about what's DLC. The DLC. Yeah, what does that mean? So it's diamond like coating, or ah. sorry, diamond like carbon coating. Um, oh, okay. So, so it's um, it's kind of like the next thing besides nickel boron. I don't know exactly how it compares as far as corrosion resistance and hardness and things like that, but it's very close. Um, it's very close to a nickel boron. Um, so it'll look like a pretty standard carrier to you guys, I'm pretty sure. But uh, if you were to feel it, it's nice and slick and shiny. I feel like, Hank, uh, maybe you had a knife destroyed by one of these things. Uh, at yes, I did. Time, okay, so or something yes. like that. Right? right? Am I yes. am I thinking correctly? Yes, I did. I don't know if I don't think it was that. It was from another company. I think. Yeah, it, yeah, but it, but, but, but with yeah, that coating on it. Yes, diamond like carbon. So uh, yeah, it's really slick. Um, it wipes it wipes right off. Um, the the carbon I should say carbon buildup from shooting. Um, really really nice piece. So that's in there. Um, it's got one of our ambi charging handles too. These are these are really nice. Um. We get these OEM'd from another company, but uh, they're very prominent in the industry. Great, great quality charging handle. Um, okay. I've gotten spoiled by uh, some nice charging handles uh, <laughs> over the past couple of months. I used to say to myself, oh, no, I'm never going to spend 75 bucks, 80 bucks exactly on a charging handle. Who, who, a standard one will work just fine. Nah. They're the, the, the upgraded charging handles that are out on the market are super nice. Um, the stag one's real nice. What so, so yeah, yeah pretty it looks much. Like someone, someone's trolling us right oh, now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Standard yeah. M16. Yeah, no yeah that's right. So, on the subject, on the subject of that, Mike, of talking about the charging handle, when are you guys going to do side charging? Oh, Ooh. I got, I got another question, I, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd like to know about side I feel charging. Like I don't have great answers for you tonight because I'm going to hit you with it. I don't know again. Um, okay. Right. Go. Uh, okay, Walter. What's I, your... I, the, uh, I, I'd like to see it myself. Yeah. The, the, the trends in AR manufacturers seem to be uh, retro. You guys going to do retro? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, um, it's it's it's, it's kind of personally. It's that's kind of one of those. It's one of those brainless things. Yeah. You just, you just build an old AR-15. I mean, but everybody likes them. Yeah, but that but that's cool. I think I shot yours. Uh, you know, you have yeah, that set up yeah, like I an mean, old I, school M16, and yeah, that's cool. I, I like the old school. It's simple. It, you know. Yeah, it just works. It's just right, you right, know, right, right. It's, and they're it's lightweight just, guns, fun guns. You know. Yeah, yeah. Why not? You know, uh, 
Why not make old new again? Yeah. It's you know? so... The parts are out there. You don't have to make anything new. <laughs> why why yeah. not? So yeah. uh, Absolutely. So, yeah, Did you... we, we've seen in our... So our retro model like that is our Model 4. Okay. Um, it's pretty much standard M16 with the standard A2 buttstock, standard uh, handguard. Um, pretty much it's, it's, a, it's a M16, uh, AR-15, M16 style AR-15. Right. Um, and, yeah, we, uh, we've seen those do a little bit better than they have in the past. So yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of a cool thing, which is kind of the inspiration behind this one. I was trying to think yeah, of uh, aside from the, aside, the build. From the, aside from the mag pull, it's pretty pretty conventional. I mean, it's yeah. Pretty, now yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I tried to I tried to upgrade it. You know what I mean? I tried to make it kind of you know like uh, with the premium components and things like that. Right. You know, yeah, I um, tried to make it cool. A little yeah. Cooler. I, did, did you have another gun to show, Mike? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second before you show that. I want to remind people we are gonna I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I, I feel like I'm Alex Jones here. I've gotten some. I've oh, you gotten got some, some dirt on. You I've got some dirt some, on the Clintons. I mean, uh, no, I have uh, some unreleased pictures. Alex, Alex I have some Jones. unreleased. <laughs> listen to me. This is actually serious. I have some okay, unreleased okay. pictures from the hotel room oh, oh. in Las Vegas wow. that I'm going to show you guys. So uh, we're going to do this right after Mike shows us this next gun. Right. I want to uh, encourage everyone to share this video. Click yeah, the thumbs up. Share that. the video. We're going to show some pictures that aren't too much out there that we've gotten from um, from a source that will remain unnamed. But I will show you guys that we've got like three pictures we can look at of the guns that were found in the in the room. So go ahead, Mike. All right. Yeah. So here we go. All right, PDW style. This oh, is something I pulled out of the safe for you guys, okay? So uh, this has one of the Maxim Defense PDW stocks. R again, a really, really nice piece. Um, really solid. It works really well. Um, and it makes your package so short. That sounded a little weird, but... Um, <laughs> 69! Uh, it, it, it makes your rifle so short because of that stock on it. And the buffer is its a great buffer system. This... These actually, uh, I think JP makes a uh, silent capture spring for these too. This yep. is not one of them, and it works awesome. Um, it's just a standard buff, pretty much what would be a standard buffer and spring. It's not because it's proprietary for the stock, but uh, it's cool. Um, so we got that who on makes there. That, who makes that stock? Uh, like I said, Ma Maxim Defense. Maxim so, Defense. Uh, oh, okay. That's uh, the it, Maxim. They're, they're okay. really quality yeah. pieces. You see... You see them around. Uh, you see them around on some OEMs and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, that's the one. You just pull it and it comes out. Yeah, yeah. So, fast. so pretty much, you just give it a good hard yank, and it pops right out. You know, um, good, and it gives yeah. you. It what was that you said? You I missed length. that. Uh, uh, can you say it again? Yank. Give it a good hard what? Yeah. Yank like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear you there. I didn't hear you, Mike. Please don't wake bang, up. Bang. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> saying it again. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy! Wang so, dang, sweet. So you guys are gonna, so you guys are gonna be selling this. This is your PDW model. Um, maybe it's um, it's it's a cool option. Um, hopefully we'll see a little bit more interest in it. Um, so it's not gonna be for sale tomorrow, but uh, okay. What calibers are we looking at here? Um, this one here is a five five six. Okay. Um, so so pretty standard. Uh, if we were to do another, it'd probably be three hundred blackout also. Um, but, but, the, but probably five, five, six, that's, um, you know, that's, that's kind of it for ARs, you know, five, five, six is the sort of magic caliber that people just, you know, people are looking for other ones, but they always come back to five, five, six, you know? So, yeah. uh, so yeah, just, just a cool, cool little build I wanted to pull out and show for you guys, you know? Well, thank you for pulling that out, Mike. Whip it out, baby. Whip it out. Absolutely. I pulled it out of the safe. Yeah, we, appre we appreciate you pulling it and out. And quickly, <laughs> okay. besides 9mm pistols, 5.56 five, pistols. Okay, those are available on the website. Yep, very cool. Yeah, Peter uh, Hinkle wants to know, does the Maxim Defense slider fit in the um, SB PDW stock receiver? Uh, it's Sure. I'm not sure, you know. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure what he's talking about. They do have one that is a pistol brace, though. They oh. they have a pistol brace. Yeah, there is a version that's. Stock. Yeah, yeah, there is a pistol brace version. Okay, so what yeah, were you that's showing, what Mike? He's talking about. Yeah, was that your last gun? Show that again. This is a pistol Blade. stag, fifteen pistol. 
There you go. Five five six standard five five six. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. remember, remember that sale. Okay. Absolutely. So the sale is going. I, I, I'm on. sure it applies for pistols too. Yeah. Pistols and rifles. Absolutely. The sale is going on. Lola has put some links in the description of this video if you guys want to see that. Uh, Walter, did you have any guns you wanted to show us? Um, no, that was kind yeah, of a late. Okay, right? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Babyface? Uh, I have two AKs. I have a Glock, a Python. Okay. Uh, Smith and Wesson. I don't really have anything different. A bunch of guns. Actually, you know something like I've Python. Got a, I've got a Gen. I've, yeah, he's got oh, a Python. No. You don't even need a say that it's one. Oh, out. I got a I got a Gen two MPX oh. coming tomorrow too. Yeah. By the way. Um, yeah, so, yeah. That yeah. Baby, that's, that's a Python. Python. And he's got a white python also. Well, oh, you know it. It's pink. Know it's, it. pink. it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've seen it. It's a, a beautiful <laughs> single action, wow. a double action. Click, like heaven. click, click. <laughs> wow. That's go shiny. Ahead, go ahead and show that off, baby face. You can show it off some more. Let me see, you want to see my I'm pulling see out my something some now. That's shiny. What, what is it? Is it case color hardened? What, no, it's not. It's finish. Blue. Colt blued. Oh, it is. It just looks so good. Yeah, it's. So yeah, I just had it refinished. Yeah, I had it refinished uh, oh. three months ago. So nice right. and nice and exactly like it should with the little pony. Yeah, yeah there it is. Yeah, blue compared to so here's like a, a black Glock. Yeah, okay. kind of blue on the screen, I think. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, um, baby yeah. Face never. Baby Heaven. Face never gives up that opportunity to show. You say something about a Python, I'll bring it out. Yeah, he'll he'll whip out his <laughs> Python. <laughs> Episode sixty nine, the Python. Then, has to I come think, out. So I think I'm becoming a convert. I, I've talked to Hank about this. The I'm gonna try the the compact, the two point compact when it comes out. But I am liking the Smiths better than my Glock lately. So. Yeah. So check uh, this out, guys. Oh Boom. hey, this is a comparison okay, video that. that we're gonna do pretty soon. So here in this hand is the Gen five Glock nineteen. In this hand is the M and P. Smith & Wesson Compact 2.0. We're going to do wow. a comparison of these. I got a new pistol today. We're going to do a comparison of these two guns coming up uh, sometime relatively relatively soon on the channel. We'll be doing this. So just a little teaser, just a little teaser for everyone out there. If you if there's things you want to know when we do this video, I think that's going to be me and you, Patrick, right? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, we're we going to be put, doing this I have a, video a barrel, for you. We can take a threaded barrel. We got to get a... Yeah. a Third yeah. barrel for the uh, M and P. Um. Yeah, we don't have one of those, but we'll, you know, we'll, we will do a comparison of, of these two okay. guns. You know, I got a new pistol today. Anybody? Which, oh. which? Yeah. Sure. What do you got, Walter? I got a Star BM. Did you get one of those little tiny ones in the box? A Star BM. I don't even know. I, I all steel. steel <laughs> all steel. Old school. It's badass. Well, Let's see it. I, Where I is really it? Close it's been, you'll you'll see it tomorrow. It's in. Actually, it's in the. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it with me. I oh. was. I was very close, just because they came with the box and paperwork and everything. I didn't even I know like, the box came with it. Actually, I wouldn't oh, even. Know. So cool. Where'd you get yeah. it at? Online? Um, I bought it from SOG. Okay, yeah, yeah. I saw them online, and I, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, they're showing up everywhere now, but it's in yeah. good shape, and it's, it's old school, all metal. Yeah. Just, I have uh, no clue what you two crazy people are talking about. So. It's Star Model B. It's do you have Do you have any idea what they're talking about, no. Mike? It's a Spanish no 9 millimeter 1911. That's something about yeah, the Star, compact, model, though, small. Star yeah. model B. Yep, Star Model B compact. BM. BM. Bowel BM. movement. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. I was like, <laughs> Walter got a bowel movement? Congratulations to you, old man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drank your prune juice today, okay? That's, oh, nice. <laughs> that's nasty, baby. That's nasty. I don't drink prune no okay. juice. All right, I see. So this is okay. I, I, you know what? Maybe I have to see it in person to appreciate it. Somebody asked me what I was eating. I'm eating jambalaya. Oh. oh. Okay, there you go. Since we all have to hear the clinking, like you know. Um, well, clink this. <laughs> okay, guess what? Okay, so let me show these pictures now. Let me show these pictures oh, yeah, so we can see. wrap this up. I'm yeah. going to lock it on me, so we're going to show these pictures. I can't. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid somehow showing you guys um, where this. Let me see if I can get this. So here we go. So here's the first one of the room here. So very nice, apparently a very nice hotel room. Oh, he had a and suite, yeah. 
Yeah, so you yeah, can... That one, you can, that one on the bottom right is a bump fire stock. Yeah, yeah so you can see that there's a bump one, fire yeah. there, and there's something else in the bathtub. It looks like there's a couple guns in the bathtub. Is that a bathtub? Jesus Christ, I've never been to a hotel room that nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have. Yeah, this is definitely a nice. This guy was apparently a high roller, you know, spending yeah. a lot of money. Um, huh. I saw. I saw on the news that he um, that he sent a hundred thousand dollars to to the Philippines. Is, yeah, to his girlfriend in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, so catchy. Here's um. Here's another one. This is from a different angle. Let me see if we can get that. So yeah, I've seen that gun in the other pictures. Yeah, it had a Surefire magazine on the one. Look at the look in the background. Yeah, look at that stack. Of yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a stack of uh, magazines over there in the that's corner. Nine, that's nine hundred rounds. Yeah. Now this guy, the security guards at the hotel, like they said that he was shooting for nine minutes. The security guards at the hotel did try to get in, and he yeah, was shooting he at them. Up. Yeah, he shot at them through the door. So then they had to get um, they had to get the uh, SWAT to actually breach it and all that kind of stuff. That's what those guys train for. That's what they do. They had to go in there. So I've got one more. Hold on a second. I'm trying to get it to um, to show up here. Now, um, you know, this one has a. This one actually is going to have a little bit of the guy in it. A little bit of a dead. Boy. So there you go. Now, um, see the headshot. Now there's something there on a bipod. He's yeah. an AR guy. That's all he only had was AR. Yeah, he liked his yeah. ARs. That makes sense. Yeah. You don't want to have so. 15 different magazines. You don't want to use the same. Everything's the same. So. Yeah. So that's some shots. Um, I did get something of the headshot. I'm not going to show that on. I'm not going to show that on air, or whatever. You know, I wish the guy would have just uh, taken himself out in the first place before he decided yeah. to do. It's scary no. stuff. Isn't no, I wish he would have taken himself out as the first thing that he did. And so, oh well, that, you know, there's no, there's no glory in that. things. Well, yeah. I mean, to you know, if if you listen, if if there's people out there that feel like they want to do harm to themselves. I suggest you seek help. There's lots of people out there that would like to help you and all that kind of stuff. Um, ultimately, if you don't want to do that, you know, I'm one of those people that believes you have the right to, you know, take yourself out off the planet if that's what you want to do. But hurting other people in the process of that, you know, just it's a horrible, terrible, demonic, evil. Can't say how bad I think that is. And I keep trying to tell people that, you know, we're going about our lives here in America like everything's awesome and we're just partying and having a good time. And we don't realize that, that we're at war with the rest of the world. And we just don't want to look at that every day and we don't want to see it that way. And, and yes, this guy um, obviously is an American and he was here, but we don't know the full story. At this point, what are we like? We're over 48 hours into this and no one's giving us details of why why this guy did what he did but this was not a normal thing because they don't know why he did what he did that's why they're yeah well i mean there's a lot of things going on here sometimes you know? things are obvious and other times things aren't and, and and do you really need to know right away no i'm not saying no. i need to know i'm just trying to say that I'd you rather, know this... i'd rather know the truth than some some story that somebody cooks up in a sure. new room which they do constantly yeah, you know, and, like, and you know what? I would also tell you, you know, that you might ne never know the truth because it might lead you places they don't want you to know. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to know the truth. I don't think the media is going to cover the truth. I don't think they're nope. going to expose the full truth of what happened here. Obviously, this is already a device for a lot of people out there to um, disarm Americans. You know, you've got the Australians out there saying that they can give uh, the American government advice on how to disarm our asses. You know, well, this is not Australia, baby. Yeah, that's what I would tell you about all this. This is not Australia. It's not England. It's not France. You know, this is America. And, and um, you know, America was built on what I think, you know, are good principles of freedom and all that kind of stuff. And when you disarm the people, you can do anything you want to them after that. So I, it's just not something that I believe in. What, that's what why Grandpa Keller always had a gun up on the wall. I didn't know why he always had a gun up on the wall, my grandfather. Well, my grandfather almost lost his life because he got caught with a gun in Russia. So that's why he had a gun up on the wall, because he could. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that we can do. We don't condone in any way people being destructive at all like this. This is not what this is not what we do. I don't you know, this guy might have had a lot of guns, but even the people they talked to did not think he was a gun guy. And I don't think so either. This is not the nature of gun guys out there. We're not trying to. It's not our intention to hurt people. It's our intention. It's something that we do as a sport. 
as a hobby to defend ourselves. It's something that we do that's protected uniquely. I, don't, I shouldn't have to have a reason why I do what I do. No, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that you should. I do it. If you don't like it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it's, well, it, uh, it's scary stuff for me. I mean, looking at those pictures, it's, I mean, it's really, I really, I mean, I don't have a lot to say, to be honest with you, because it's, it's really scary. I mean, it's really, I don't have any other way to put it, to be honest with you. I'm just a little taken back by some of those. It's just, man, just to fathom that somebody did that is just scary, you know? Yeah. But we, this is a world that we, I think we've always lived in this world. Okay. Um, it's not just the times. It's not just the technology. It's not just that we don't communicate with each other anymore. We don't talk to each other the way that we used to. And people don't know how to do that. I think the world has always been this way and it's us as human beings. And no matter what, we will find ways to do things. Look, a couple of guys took down the twin towers. You know, they got in, they got onto planes, took over planes with freaking box cutters. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't see box cutters being illegal, you know, um, and, and they took down the Twin Towers, man. And I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one, too, because there's <laughs> other things that aren't illegal yet either. Yeah. And the and thing they come, is, they come from other countries. Um, right. You know, so and the thing is, is we all had to see that it was a horrible, tragic things thing to to um, to witness, you know, and horrible tragic things happen in the world people do bad things to each other now in, a, in a, pretty much in a situation like this the people there you know i'm sure that they were there were definitely people there that were armed there were police officers and stuff like that there's not a lot you can do for someone up in a in a um you know up on the 32nd floor or whatever this guy was and um you know the biggest thing at this point is something that we talk about all the time and people have mentioned here over and over again this is why you have to train and go take classes and and learn, you know, uh, first aid and how to respond to these things to try to mitigate these things that could happen. So, and when these things happen, be able to save someone's life, you know, and maybe have some, you know, think about this going in and not move with the crowd in a situation like that where you just make yourself fish in a barrel, you know. So all you're the in a concert like that, there's no moving around. You're in a crowd, so yeah, I know. You, 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 you know, either you go or you don't go. You yeah, know, it's just one of these things. To, you don't go to something like that think somebody's going to start shooting from a 34th floor. Yeah. Well, it's one That's of these. the scary part. Yeah, it's oh. one of these things that happens, but here's the thing. It can happen with cars. It can happen with trucks. It can happen with helicopters and planes. This guy and, was a pilot. He could have flew an airplane into that crowd. Probably he would he have done more. He had two airplanes of his own. Yeah, probably he would have done a lot more damage that way. I mean, to be honest with you, he could have been up there just lobbing bombs down. Well, that, that that was a long distance, actually. If you look yeah, where he was, to where they were, there was no throbbing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no you know what I'm trying to say to you is, there's always like if if someone takes the time, this guy took you. time and he thought about this, right? He was able to wire a hundred thousand bucks to the Philippines, which you can't do that easily, you know. And he was able to put all this stuff together and take all this stuff up to this hotel room, with uh, which is probably not that difficult. That's but, actually very easy when you get to Las Vegas. Yeah. You just you know. spend somebody the money and they take it up for you. So. Yeah, the hotel was a gun-free zone and all that kind they of stuff. They all are gun-free zones, every single one yeah. of them in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Look, well, you know, um, OJ just got out of prison doing 10 years for for taking a gun into a hotel room in Las Vegas, right? Well, he did more than that. Yes, but that's, you know, I mean, they have very strict <laughs> rules, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the end when someone does something destructive. What I'm trying to say is we there, there's no law, no litigation, murder in and of itself, even plotting to murder, conspiring to murder on this level is a crime. It's a heinous crime. Spends for a long it, time. It doesn't make any difference. We're gonna have people do bad, horrible things like this. Yep. You know? So um, if if the people out there really want to deal with some shit, I, I think that, you know, they should focus on the, the serious things out there that we're dealing with, like uh, Kim Jong-un, you know, Iran and all that kind of stuff. There's lots of things out there that these guys really don't deal with. And those people are even more dangerous than this guy. Those people have even an uh, even greater arsenal than this guy, and they're not dealing with it. So that's, you know. He's not in your backyard. Um, yeah, well, you know that's my thing that I have to say about it, uh, Babyface. Uh, I don't. I think the guy was an ass. Oh, I, I, there's nothing to say. He's a piece of shit. 
<laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I think you're preaching to the choir a, a little bit here. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 I don't I don't know what else to say, but it's just it's really yeah, it's a scary thing and uh it's really terrible. You know, I I don't even want to discuss it really to be honest with you because it's just <clears throat> Yeah, I understand. It's, I understand. Such, it's such a terrible thing, you know, that some human being could do that to other people. Does it hit home a little bit to you because we spend time in Vegas? Absolutely, yeah. man. I remember. I remember looking at the. Uh, you know, I've been there three years in a row now, and I see the the Beatles thing that's on the side of Mandalay Bay. It's been there for forever, and it's just I'm thinking about it. One of my friends I saw on social media was there for something and uh, showed a picture when she was there like eight months ago, and it's just it's scary, man. It's just it's really it's, you know. Man, it's tough. It's just really scary. You know, I know I keep saying that, but it really is. That's that's really the way I yeah. feel about it. I feel I feel so bad for the people that yeah. uh, were in that. You know, I hundred percent agree with you. And look, you know, I think we've already said it many times here, but I'll say it again: being a gun guy and being there doesn't necessarily mean that you can do something. I think Dan Bolzarian was there. Yeah, he um, was there. Yeah. And he couldn't really do that much either. You know, whatever kind of badassery he's supposed to be credited with, there really wasn't much he could do. And I'm not trying to, do? I'm not mocking him for that. I mean, no, what I mean, would what we are you do other do? than I mean, duck and get cover be, and try to help people? You could have, a, you could be armed to the teeth. You can't do anything. Yeah. So, you, shoot you know, 400 feet up and you don't even know where it's coming from. That's the problem. You don't even know. Yeah. 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 You you have have crack and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and and so the thing is, look, we spend a lot of time. I I'm in Vegas probably like three four times a year. Walter and I are getting ready to go there in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, then I'll well, probably you know, be bad, there again after. The that. bad part about all this, you know, and now now it's you're going to go to the hotel and it's going to be like going to freaking airport. Oh yeah, you know, gonna, I, I, you know when, when I go to the airport and I got to take my shoes off, every time I do that, I think about that sorry fucker that did that. And I have to take my shoes off every time I go to the airport because of that sorry bastard. Of, yeah, so because of the shoe bomber. <laughs> and and so think what about it. It's silly. Ask? People so, don't people forgot about that, but you're inconvenienced every time you go someplace with a security because of why? Because yeah. of the people doing stuff like this. You yes. know, and does it solve anything by taking your shoes off? No, it don't solve anything. No, absolutely not. I want to remind everyone again, click the thumbs up button. We just we should have just shown you something that you're not seeing everywhere. I know there's people who are just joining and they want to see it. You're gonna to have to roll back. So keep or wait your shoes until, on, damn it. Yeah, or wait until this is over and roll back a little bit. I'm not sure at what point it was at. It was like maybe like five minutes ago that we were showing that stuff. Um so one it's, of the things it, it's on the internet, just Google it. Yeah. Um, so here's something that um, I'd like to ask you guys. I know, Babyface, you haven't gone to SHOT Show. I know you'd like to go. I, yeah, I want to. Do you think, <laughs> and Mike, I'll let you start off with this, to, with the answer sure. to this one. Do you think that possibly there won't be a SHOT Show in Vegas anymore? No. Oof. I mean, that's hard to say. It's all about I mean, this, baby. <laughs> it's all about I mean, the money. Bring it yeah. back to Orlando. You know, you know, I mean... One of the things I've said, um, and forget about all the talk about what just happened and everything like that. One of the things about SHOT Show being in Vegas, it just works, okay? I can literally get up out of bed, go downstairs, eat breakfast, okay, walk over to the show, spend the whole day at the show, you know, walk back to my hotel room. I don't even see the light of day. I breathe casino oxygen the whole day long, and I go upstairs and take a shower and you know, yeah, if you want dinner, you got dinner. Do it, do it all over again. You know, there's no, there's the logistics work for that show in Vegas. Um, oh man, so, is a boss is a boss paying know, for your room? Compared to, <laughs> you must be saying the Palazzo or the or the Venetian. So uh, yes, we, yeah. I, I for security reasons, we won't discuss. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, don't discuss where you're staying. But well, that's. I mean, you know, it's yeah. right upstairs. I'm sure I'm not the only one, and uh, it's just you know. All those people are in the same place, and they're all gun people, and it's uh, it's the biggest show of the year, and it works. It works there. So, you know, hard to say, Hank. You know, it really is. Um, but uh, it it, it uh, I gotta say, I I enjoy I enjoy it. It works. I mean, uh, compared to an experience I had with the NRA show, uh, it was one year we sort of had a weird hotel 
experience. It was a long drive and stuff, and I was just like, man, oh, why can't it be as easy? Was that Indiana? No, I think it was Louisville. And uh, I just said, man, why can't this? Why can't? <laughs> why can't this work like Shot Show? You know, so it yeah. it uh, it's good. well. You guys it's waited late, to that, book but it's the convention. Kentucky. That's why. All right. Yeah, well. probably. It's the yeah. con- it's the convention capital of the world. I think. I I mean, it just it seems like there's so many conventions that go on there. Uh, it you know it's yeah. it works for that type of thing. You know, the area that they have. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. Walter's right too. Cash is king there in Vegas. So. Okay, we'll so obviously none of you guys went to SHOT Show when it was in Orlando. Nope, I didn't. No, um, back <laughs> in um, 1952 when they had it in Orlando. Right, stop I that. Wasn't even around. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, I've, been doing, I've been going to SHOT Show I since. I wasn't even born, probably. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time it was in Orlando, Walter? Seriously, what, what year? I think it was probably like seven years ago or something. Yeah, so it, right? it was longer than that. It's probably more like ten, actually. Yeah. Um, but – Nevertheless, he used to go back and forth between Vegas. Yeah, it was and, it was one it was year after year back and forth. And and they finally the Sands Convention Center made him a deal. They can't they can't refuse, I guess. So it, it's about money. That's that's all it's about. It's about money. It's nothing else but money. So, yeah. um, but I agree with you. Don't, a lot of people I don't, don't like they it. really want. I don't think they really want us there. I know that um, Vegas is expensive. Obviously, you know well, that's what I was going to get to here in a second. Yeah, go a lot ahead. Of people don't like Vegas. A lot of dealers, a lot of they don't like to go to Las Vegas because first is expensive. <laughs> Secondly, it's Las Vegas. Ooh, and um, <laughs> I hear it from people that live this part of the country. You know, they don't like Las Vegas. It's nasty. You know, it's like well, it's shot show used to move all over the country. Just be in different places. So yeah. I don't think Vegas is nasty at all. Um, I mean, Vegas is. A, you see, there you is. Are, a, you're a different age, and you come from a different place. Okay? Right. No, I understand that. I mean, you there's do a lot see, of people that don't like it. And it's expensive for for the average guy to go to Las Vegas. It's twenty five dollars a meal, no matter how you, or more, depending. I where think you that's eat. the big deal. A bottle of water will cost you five six bucks. You know Ooh. and. Uh, Take yeah. it or leave it. That's the way it is. There, yeah. A cab the ride, like the cab drivers hate Uber and Lyft and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they got them, they got them out in the good. outback behind the building someplace in a little strip where the yeah. Uber drivers go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that's why everywhere now they've pushed off the Uber drivers. And we still walk a long way just to yeah. get in the Uber. First, you got to find out where they're at. Yeah. And then, yeah. But no, I mean, uh, Las Vegas is Las Vegas, you know, and that's – it's – like I said, yeah. big big convention place. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of people like it because it is Las Vegas, and you know all yeah. the. I mean, well, where else? That's where I agree with Mike. I mean, where else are you going to have all these restaurants that you know? Like, if I want to go out to dinner with Mike after the show, or you, Walter, we don't have to go that far to go to a really nice restaurant. Or even if we leave yeah. the casinos, we could find a, a nice, cozy oh, place. Yeah, there's somewhere. lots. There's lots of options close by. I mean, yeah, you know, but so that's right. the thing. We can't do anything about it. That's where it's at. So, you go. Yeah. So no it's, predictions here. No, no one's predicting. It's not going anywhere. Gonna They've not got, going anywhere. They're going to be at the Sands Convention Center until 2020. That's their. Okay. That's their contract. Baby, expect, expect protests next year. If yeah, you're not baby. here already. Nah. Well, I don't. <laughs> any more protests than they've had before. I think we'll get some media scrutiny, but you know what? I mean, that's look, private property. They can't come on the private property. They'll that's how many ass, months away. That's office. how many months away. January something. January it's middle. Right around the corner. Months. Coming quick. I was going to yeah. say. It'll right be around the corner. Months. Yeah. So. Um, it's it's scary how close it is. <laughs> yeah. We'll be. We, 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 I guess. Guess what, though? I bet you at that time we'll be on to something else. So that's just the uh, unfortunate, crazy you'll thing. You'll be on to something else in, in a week and a half. You'll be on to something else. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be on to something I else. I mean, after this initial thing gets over. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Bullis says Orlando isn't cheap anymore either. No, it's not. Orlando is also a bunch of traffic. So there you go. And um, for all you guys that like adult entertainment, um, and I know that's why a lot of guys go to Las Vegas, there's <laughs> lots and lots and lots of that in Orlando, by the way, too. Yeah. The um, hookers and the coke. Central Florida is porn, porn movie paradise, yeah. actually. So. 69! Really? They make this every God. year is the, one of the biggest. I feel like I'm on an episode of Howard Stern. Did, I Sixty-nine. No <laughs> I went to UCF and I, I had no idea Central Florida was like the porn capital. No, I mean they make a lot of the movies in this area. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had no clue. I didn't know that, and I heard that one time when they, about you know, something talking about the porn industry. 
I had yes. no idea. That's funny. So if you're watching a porno and you see a um, Pinsgauer in there. Don't say that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that Pinsgauer could possibly. <laughs> well, if it says uh, produced well, by. <laughs> yeah, produced send by. Send me the check, okay? Produced you know, by Walter Keller. <laughs> I'll take the money. No problem. I have no problem with yeah. the money. I'll take the money. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to say Stag Arms will be at the range day. Media. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yes. And Let's. We, uh, we have yeah. a booth. So Stag's yeah, coming out with – yeah, let's switch it all here, make it positive. We're going to wrap this up now so yeah, everyone can go. We've been going for we've been going for a while. Hope everyone had fun here, enjoyed yes. themselves. Uh, Walter, what are you up to? Let's uh, – because we'll end – Well, I'm going to be up at your place tomorrow, so that's what I'm up to. You're coming – you're getting there bright and early. Well, as long as you're up. Yeah, I'll be up. I'll be up. I'll probably be there around 9, so – Oh, nine? Oh, okay. Awesome. Not. Well, yeah, yeah, not really. so early. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Nah, it's not that early. No. I'll be up. I, I get up at 7 o'clock. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, I get up at 7. Lola's got to get up, and you know, so she gets up, I get up. Okay. On the weekends, on the weekends, I don't get up early because, you know, Lola it's doesn't the weekend, work. Right? Yeah, it's the weekend. She's like, doesn't want to wake up. You're not working. It's the time to get up and go have fun, you know? No, like, we work on the weekends. All right. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we work right. every day, much to Babyface's chagrin. Rex Taylor, porn king. We usually don't <laughs> work on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so that's what Walter's doing. He'll be on the Hacienda hanging out with us. We have, um, we're going to have Mr. Guns and Gear. It's going to be hanging with us, so you guys should look out for the um, social media frenzy that will ensue frenzy. from that. I encourage everyone to share every single thing we put up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't liked yeah. it today. That's what... So what do you have going on, Babyface? Are you coming tomorrow? I'm not coming tomorrow. I have work. <laughs> oh, man. What? Darn. What is that? Just work? A, just put up a video of uh, Walter's 1903 I saw that. Pocket hammerless that. suppressed. So I it's only that. like a minute. But yeah, if any, anybody wants to go check it out, it's on okay, I got to go look and share that. I haven't had a chance to share it. We're going to be competitive uh, with Jim uh, uh, Kim Jung tomorrow as far as – How many – yeah, how many views do you have on that, Babyface? We got to get some people to view. I'm, I'm encouraging well, everyone watching this. Is this on the Babyface P YouTube channel? Yeah. yeah. Go to – open up I another window. Up like two hours ago. Yeah. I'm open open right another now. window. Don't – Click out of this window. Open another window. Go to YouTube. I have twelve search, views on it. Yeah, <laughs> search <laughs> Babyface P right now. Search Babyface P and watch that video. Thanks. And Thanks. then share it. Is so, it all? Why when I when I do Babyface P, how do I actually get to your site? Because there's rappers and everybody out there. Uh, when you face no P. search Babyface P right now. Go ahead and do it. But like, I did. You get you get you get a musician. No spaces. My channel. Uh, no, just uh, no. Put spaces. Put spaces okay. in the search. Yeah, I, get, I actually get my channel surprisingly. Yeah. Okay. I see David Face P Gun. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I think. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm getting Walter's yeah. results. Here. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you'll see. Yeah. You'll know it's baby face when you see a skinny. Oh, see when I do face. when I do it with no spaces, I get the Thompson Machine Poseidon video. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, let me do it without the space. Google's algorithm is all crazy. Oh, oh, it's baby dash face P. Okay, jeez, you gotta tell her right. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, if yeah. you want to see no, it, that's not wanna... a rapper. That's actually the first baby face, Walter. He's an R and B singer. Pretty bad. That's, yeah, you know that? that's me. Nevertheless, he blocks me from getting to the real baby face. <laughs> Nevertheless, right? okay, I like that baby face. You know. <laughs> Nevertheless, yeah. don't make me start singing songs now. Sing it, baby. Sing it. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> You're I, not that good. I yeah, I don't. I don't want to embarrass Lola. Lola right has now. had it on on chat. I'm just gonna link it. I'm gonna be a shill for myself. Yeah, there you, there go. you go. There you go. Hey, There's a link for everybody. Share your own. Yeah, everyone can open it up. On baby face, open on it up in another window right now. Look, I'm gonna open it up in another window and. Um, it's a minute long. To... It won't waste your day. There you go. If you yeah. want to see a cool PDW stock, try look at the mini machine gun one. That's mine. Oh yeah, God, that thing is tiny and uncontrollable. And it's, it's fourteen. Hot. It's it's uh, it's fourteen views, baby it was face. Hot. It had was so hot. <laughs> I think I. Oh, here he just got one more. I clicked on it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Everyone, go over left, there and watch that it. Little tiny machine gun. Walter had left it in the sun. <laughs> and I was like, oh, "Hey, come try this thing." So I put my cheek on it and scalded myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, always boy. fun. That's always fun. <laughs> anyway, um, cool. Sorry, All right. so that's what I'm up to. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So um, apparently the uh, the okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. We'll we'll do that. Okay. So okay. now let's go to Mike. Mike Fry. Mike, stag Mike. Arms. Mike Here Fry. I am. I'm gonna you My know. Favorite, he's getting tired over there. We can tell. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely. A long podcast. He's once he's like it's it's ten o'clock and yeah. I'm in the office. Still. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go Are home. you getting paid <laughs> overtime? No. My, oh. here's, my suge- here's my suggestion to you. Don't put in, yeah, don't put in for overtime because they might look at the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's too late for that. So, no, actually, it's been that. a fun. It's been a fun show. I think lots of people yeah. got lots of inf- good information from it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Seriously, you're a good we're, sport. We're doing, we're doing a lot of we're doing a lot of stuff over here. For the record, John's still here with me, so I'm not by myself. Nice. But, oh, okay, good. That's All that's right. my boy. I'm glad you care so much, Hank. Yeah, absolutely. No, I do care about you because you know you're in Connecticut. I want to make sure you're safe. You can get a concealed license permit in Connecticut, right? Of course. Okay, good. I just, yeah, I just, I just, have to, re-upped, on I huh? just re-upped on mine. Oh, you've got one. Nice. Okay, awesome. Yeah. What is your EDC? Uh, <laughs> uh, my cell phone and keys. Thank oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, you don't want to tell us. Okay, if you don't want to tell us for security reasons. It's not I that I don't want to tell you. I, I'll tell you straight up. I usually don't carry a gun every day. Oh, okay. we got to change that. Nope. What's, what's I, the reason I, behind it? I usually don't. Um, um, well, pretty much, I say the biggest reasoning behind it is uh, they're safe at home in my safe. And uh, if anything were to happen to them while yeah. I was out, then they're not out because they're at home in my safe. Well, so, let me ask you this: What well, if something were no, to happen? No, seriously. If, if something were to happen to you, do they are they capable of opening the safe from I the know, inside, know, jumping out, running down the block, yeah, 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 coming yeah, and yeah, saving yeah, your yeah, ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so, Mike. No, you had to, yeah, you had to tell him you didn't Listen, care. You had to tell him. I know, I know. Seriously, no, but I I got my concealed carry permit because I wanted to be a gun owner. I did not get it because I wanted to carry firearms. I'll tell you that right here, right now. I didn't get it because I wanted to carry it every. Everywhere. And okay. uh, that that's me. I, I like guns, um, but, you know, I, I i wanted to own them. I wanted to go to the range. I wanted to go shooting. And to do to buy a pistol in Connecticut, you need a concealed carry permit. So that yeah. is why I got it. So I could buy pistols and, oh. uh, and uh, shoot cool. them at the range and stuff. You know, that, yeah. that was my reasoning behind it. And uh, that's a valid I'm, sticki- I, I'm sticking to it. That's, that's I, you know. I didn't do it to carry every day. Some people do, but I didn't. You know, I no. did it. I did it so I could buy guns and be a gun enthusiast. I appreciate your honesty. I respect extent. that. But I just want to reiterate to you one more time: you can have you can have a million dollar pistol sitting in that safe. It's not coming to save you. You're right. I wouldn't so, choose that please, one anyway. Because because I uh, you know because I do care about you. You're my friend. We've been friends for some time now. I would yeah, like to, have. you know, gently, gently encourage you. Encourage you to get you, that motherfucker out of the safe. Yeah, nudge you in the direction <laughs> of, you know, of carrying something. You know, hey, get something, you know, you can get yourself oh, a Smith & Wesson. Get yeah, yourself a Glock, a, you know. I have, I, I have a Glock 19 that uh, that's locked up in the safe next to my bed all the time. Yeah. Um, yep. Actually, you know. funny, cool, kind of funny story about Connecticut and Glocks and stuff. I actually went on aimsurplus.com. Okay. I bought a Gen 2 Glock 17 LE trade in. Um, I, I bought it, I don't know, 300 bucks, something like that. Got it transferred through uh, uh, my gun shop. And uh, I found out after the fact it was imported into this country in February 1990. Mm. Pre ban Glock. And I well, didn't even know what it. it. What is it? A Gen Two? Yes, sir. Gen so Two. The, oh. But does it, how does is that? How does that affect anything? It means that I can put a threaded barrel on it. Oh, sweet. Okay, so you can at least suppress it. That's cool. In, yep. Yep, in, your, in Connecticut. Correct. Anything okay. pistols? Pistols cannot have threaded barrels yeah. unless they're pre they're, Unless they're pre bands. Yep. I'll have to check. Okay. Can, you, can you find out by the serial number on that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glock. I, 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 got call, a, I got a Gen Two. called Glock. Yeah. I've got a Gen two seventeen, so yeah, yeah. I just call it Glock. Yep. So, right, so pretty much the the way it works is if it's a pre ban, you can have assault weapon features, to my understanding, and a threaded barrel is an assault weapon feature. That would okay. be high capacity so, magazines and all that stuff. Right? Well, I, I'm well, just talking about is. threaded barrel and stuff like that. 
you know, whatever, pistol grip, adjustable stock, things like that. That turns it into an assault weapon, okay? Therefore, I would not be able to carry this gun even if I wanted to because there are some laws associated with how you actually transport assault weapons. So technically, my pre ban Glock is an assault weapon. But oh, my God. I feel it, less safe <laughs> just because having this on my desk. It's and that's a, in the Constitution state. That I can put a threaded barrel on, and it's probably worth a little bit of money in this state. So. Yeah. It's kind of cool and, how I tripped across it. Totally didn't yeah. even try. No, I mean, I would like to have a Gen 2. So, you don't yeah. have one? I think Walt, no, I don't have a Gen 2. I, need, I want one. That's one of the. Walter ones. has one, right, Walter? You've got one? Yeah. That's without the finger grooves, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah I, would, I would buy one if I could find one ever. They're neat. Yeah. I want a Gen 1, so. Yeah, I mean, we all. A single yeah. pin Gen 1, yeah, those are pretty rare. We all want a Gen 1. <laughs> uh, Walter, put that on the list for patience, Knob Creek. Patience, Grasshopper. Patience. It'll come. Yeah, It'll put that on the list for Knob Creek, Gen 1. I put it out there to the world now. <laughs> Mac 90 or, yeah. or, Mac a type, 90. or a Type 86. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, or a type, a type 84, actually, in 223, I think. Yeah, oh, just yeah? Put, it all, yeah. put it all on the list. Okay, you know what? Let's wrap it up. Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're in three hours territory. Okay, I want to thank everyone that's been hanging out with us. We still have a bunch of people hanging out with us right now. So thanks to everyone in the chat that's been hanging out, everyone that's been sharing, liking the video and all that good stuff. I think we had a good discussion today. I want to thank Walter and Babyface for joining us. And of course, of course, this guy right there. Bang, bang. Mike, Mike Fry from Stag Mike Arms. Stag Arms. Yes, good dude. Always a pleasure talking to you, my friend. I can't, Look forward I can't to wait seeing to you. See you this weekend, man. Absolutely, we're gonna hang. We're gonna hang. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. we're gonna do it. We're gonna do some hanging out. So I want to thank everyone that sponsors the channel. That would be this guy, Walter Keller. Look at him. He sponsors it. Safety Harbor Firearms is a sponsor of the channel. There you go. As well as Rand CLP, Andrews yep. Custom Leather, and of course Ooh, these guys. Company. Yeah, big, big daddy, daddy guns. guns. Those are the guys who sponsor the channel right there. They give us this space and the internet and all that kind of good stuff so we can make noise and carry on into the, the wee hours of the <laughs> of, of the night. Um, so I want to thank those guys. And the biggest shout out and thank you goes to the people on Patreon that support us and help us really um, do this channel, bring you all the good videos and everything that we do. And, that, and our Patreon is Patreon slash Hank Strange, and we want to thank you guys for supporting us. Um, we did recently reach a milestone. I don't know where Lola went to. She left. Um, we reached She's a like, milestone. This is going too long. Yeah, yeah we have 65 <laughs> patrons, so we, 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 we reached that milestone. That's awesome. Thanks to everyone out cool. there. So, cool. yeah, cool. We, you know, we're moving up. We're, we're building it up, I'm making it up. happen. All right, so everyone knows how we end this, right? Peace. Peace out. Peace out. Nighty night. Peace. You want to show See you guys? There you go, everyone. Peace out.